Mic check one two one two. Mic check one two one two. If anyone in the chat can hear me, just push one. Por favor. All right, we got a confirmation, man. Thank you, DJ Moss, for the confirmation. Welcome back to the Black Brain Trust. This is episode 350. Please hit the like button as you come in. Share the video if possible. Hit that notification bell so you can get all the updates from the Black Brain Trust, including those posted on the community tab that we post every week. This is the Mustang GT500 Shelby chat for tonight. Um, if you want to partake in this discussion, you want to contribute, there'll be a link in the chat for you to get on the panel. When you click on the link and you're in the waiting room, make sure you raise your hand so that you can be acknowledged and we can advance you to the panel. If you don't raise your hand, you'll be getting sit you're going to be sitting there for quite some time. So <clears throat> that's how that goes. DJ Moss, what's going on, man? Super Triz, what it do, what it do? Got to wait for my man Ty City to come through. Triple X. And then we got some real, uh, we're going to have a real discussion tonight, man. I think tonight's going to be lit. Pull this up. All right, who just joined the panel? We got Rainy Woman and Super Triz. What's going on? Rainy Woman, you have your hand up. What's going on, Mike V? I'm chilling, fam. What's going on with you? Uh, what's going on, uh, Rainy Woman? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm good. I'm, you know, I'm just uh, doing my thing, you know, uh, getting ready for work as usual. Mm -hmm. I'm, put, I'm, I'm putting them hours, 60 hours every week. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I hear you. Don't bring yourself out, man. Uh, hey, I can I can go eight days a week. <laughs> hey, Ray, Ray Woman, how are you? I am blessed. Well, good evening. My mic was tripping, but hello. Yeah. I just, I would come up for a minute and check out the cars. Mm-hmm. All right. Let me, get, let me get started with the first item on the docket. Um, I'll save the best for last because uh, our boy, the boy who wants the most, who wants the most smoke, is us. Um, hold on one second. Well, as, as long as chaos rained on come up here trying to get smoke, because last night, I don't know where his head was at. <laughs> <clears throat> we'll try to be nice to him, man. <laughs> hey, you know, you know how I get with cars, man. I can't be nice with cars. Come on. Yeah, you're you're, you're very uh very militant. So it is what it is, man. Um, let me let me share my screen real quick. Where's Ty City, man? You better show up.
real quick, Mike, is uh, EAG anywhere on this docket? EAG? Yeah, EAG. Uh, what is that? EAG with the uh, three pedals. I, I, I don't, I don't want to spoil. If, 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 if you have to, if you have the link, man, um, put it in the back chat. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll go over that. Oh, speaking of the devil, there he is. I thought I heard that uh, 240Z backfiring. <laughs> hey, I wouldn't I would miss this for the world. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, Finn? What up, bro? Chill, man, chillin'. Your man Super Triz is here. <laughs> Mike, don't start no start don't start no <laughs> ish won't be no ish. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. <laughs> <laughs> what, what happened? Forward, forward at it again. I'm going to wait to the end, though. I'm going to oh, yeah. wait. Oh, yeah. All right. All right. Uh, <laughs> the link is in the back chat, Mike. And uh, hey, uh, hey, Ty City. Yeah. I, 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 was tell, I was telling Mike, uh, tell Chaos, don't bring, us behind, don't bring us behind up here again. <laughs> <laughs> was, you here, was you here when Chaos Rain was up here last time? Um, All right, let me let me get started I with think, this. Uh, I, I, think I, I think I caught the tail end of it. Mm -hmm. All right, let me let me uh get to this one. Um, this one is from CNN.com. Fiat, Chrysler, and Pujo owner announced $48 billion merger. Fiat, Chrysler, and Pujo owner PSA Group have announced the terms of a $48 billion merger that would create the world's third largest automaker and help spread the cost of developing electric and autonomous vehicles. Shareholders of each automaker would own 50% of the combined operation, the company said in a joint statement on Thursday. A binding agreement could be finalized within weeks. The statement said... Uh, the statement said Fiat Chrysler shareholders also would get special one time dividend worth five and a half billion euros or six point one billion U.S. dollars as part of the deal. The combined company would be based in the Netherlands, which is the current headquarters of Fiat Chrysler. Although it will keep a, a head office uh, for its North American operations near Detroit, John Elkin, the U.S. born Scion um, of the Italian family that found uh, that founded Fiat would be chairman of the combined company. With while PSA chief executive Carlos Tavares would be CEO, the combined company would have roughly four hundred and ten thousand employees and an annual revenues of one hundred and ninety billion dollars. Fiat Chrysler and PSA sold a combined 8.7 million vehicles last year, just ahead of General Motors, which sold 8.3, and not far behind Volkswagen and Toyota, which sold over 10 million. The merger comes amid a global auto sales slowdown, which could worsen as economies around the world slow or even fall into recession. At the same time, car makers are scrambling to invest in the electric and hybrid technologies needed to meet strict new emissions targets in China and Europe. The autonomous vehicles of the future also present a threat to traditional industry business models. The huge amount of capital needed to meet, new, meet these <clears throat> new challenges has forced some automakers to find partners and turn others into acquisition targets. Jessica Caldwell Edmonds, Executive Director of Industry Analysis said the planned merger of Fiat Chrysler and France's PSA isn't really about product or expanding new markets. Rather, it's about funding research into vehicles of the future. The electrified autonomous future everyone is waiting on, uh, everyone is waiting for, is uh, just isn't feasible without automakers merging 
in forming strategic alliances to share research and development costs, she said. This is a smart move by both Fiat Chrysler and PSA to ensure their companies continue to be viable and relevant as the industry evolves. The car maker with the most urgent need to combine in this case was PSA, which has fallen behind on developing clean cars. Electric vehicles account for less than 0.3% of its overall sales, and it had to pay Tesla for credits needed to comply with EU emissions, emission standards. Fiat Chrysler has also trailed larger rivals in developing electric vehicles. Even the biggest players in the industry are making changes. Volkswagen and Ford are working together to develop electric and self-driving vehicles, while German car makers BMW and Daimler have formed a joint venture to, uh, that will develop driverless technology. Honda has invested in General Motors self-driving car units. It's not the first time PSA has used merger to bulk to bulk up. In 2017, it paid $2.3 million to buy GM's European business, adding the Opel and Vauxhall brands as GM exited the continent, while GM lost about $22.4 billion in Europe over the 17 years before that deal. Opel and Vauxhall are now profitable for PSA. Teaming up during times of adversity is also a familiar strategy for Fiat which started the purchase of U.S. rival Chrysler out of bankruptcy a decade ago. It completed the merger five years later. But even following that deal, Fiat Chrysler was still significantly smaller than many rivals, putting it at a disadvantage in purchasing muscle as well as spreading out costs of research and development. Sergio Marchini, the late CEO who bought for, uh, Fiat, who brought Fiat and Chrysler together, spoke publicly about his desire for a deal with GM. He also expressed interest in combination with a tech company such as Google in or Apple. Earlier this year, Fiat Chrysler made a merger proposal to another French automaker, Renault, a company of comparable size to PSA, but it withdrew the offer saying that it has become clear that the political conditions in France do not currently exist for such combination to proceed successfully. The French government owns 15% of Renault and it is, it's, it is the largest uh, shareholder. It also owns 12.2% of PSA. France has said it would approve the Renault deal only if there were protections for French jobs in factories. Fiat Chrysler also reported third quarter financial results Thursday. Despite slowing global sales, it posted a record third quarter operating profit for company uh, for the company that topped Wall Street forecast and said it is on pace to hit its full year profit target. But a restructuring change, a uh, restructuring charge related to dropping uh, some segments of its vehicle lineup in Europe and changes at Alfa Romeo resulted in a net loss for the quarter. Still between the earnings outlook, the operating profit and news about the merger shares of Fiat Chrysler were 3% in pre-market trading Thursday in the US. Shares of Fiat Chrysler had already risen 14% uh, since the start of the week through Wednesday close on uh, reports of, of a looming deal. But PSA, which effectively is paying a premium to secure the merger with the Fiat Chrysler, had its shares tumble 13% in Paris trading on Thursday. Fiat Chrysler and PSA face huge challenges even if their merger is completed. Both have structured, uh, struggled to break into China, the world's largest market for new cars. Automakers have sold 10% fewer cars there so far in 2019, but the joint ventures of Fiat Chrysler and PSA have been hit especially hard. Sales dropped by third, a third for Fiat Chrysler in the first half of the year and more than 50% for PSA. Damn. PSA also has no presence in the United States, which uh, the world's second largest car market. Minuscule US sales of Fiat branded cars showed the difficulty in bringing mass market European cars as opposed to luxury brands to US showrooms. 
Will Fiat Chrysler and PSA have a lot of quirky city cars that couldn't be far, further from what the U.S. car shoppers want right now, said Caldwell. So the only person with a Fiat that I know is Triple uh, X, and I um, don't know where he is. Yo, this whole this whole economy thing just it's like a, a end of a lot of errors at the same time, man. Mm-hmm. You know, um oh, let me uh, pull this up. Oh my god. Yeah, there's a lot of um the mergers are more about survival than anything else. You can't survive on your own in this market. It's impossible. Fifty uh, percent loss, net loss is is, is uh, dramatic. You know, if you were selling ten cars, you know, last last quarter, man, you're only selling five cars this quarter. You can't turn profit with that. You're, you're losing profit. Yeah, you're operating on on um on on a loss every quarter. But that at some point something's going to give. I hate to see it, man. I mean, they're saying. They want the research, man. Um, Apple has positioned itself to be in, in the research and development of autonomous vehicles. We, we know yeah, that. These, these governments ain't letting up either. What do you mean? As far as um, regulations. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, definitely kind of forcing a change. But now's a good time, you know, to get involved in, in um, the emerging market, man. We, I mean, we talked about this before, but even something as minor as, you know, uh, uh, painting lines and parking lots and stuff like that, man, you know, um, charging stations, uh, building solar panel infrastructure, um, wind turbines that can help generate enough energy to charge a vehicle. All of that stuff matters at this point. Infrastructure is where a lot of your people who can't design vehicles, man, is where it's going to, it's going to um, pay off at, you know, for a lot of us, man. Yeah. A lot of these garages are going to have to be retrofitted with some kind of charging situation. We're going through that change right now at work. You know, it's supposed to be completed. Um, the week before Christmas, you know, they, they've taken the garage and they've um, contracted it out to a um, uh, to a vendor. Um, uh, I mean, to a, uh, a, a contractor who can actually uh, provide infrastructure on the fly. And, and right there already. Uh, tomorrow, they'll be 60 percent complete. 60 percent complete with the um, infrastructure part of, of the garage. They've converted it. Um, they've they done all, they dropped all the wiring, did all the uh, markings. Now t- uh, th- tomorrow they're gonna put up the pillars for the um, solar panels. And then it's just about uh, bringing the solar panels in, dropping them on the pillars, and um, wiring them up, and then uh, providing the charge charge infrastructure. And then that should be done by Christmas. So th- this is the type of stuff that's going on, man. Yeah, you definitely want to try to get your piece of the pot, man. I'm trying to see where I can get it, get in, where I fit in. Oh, there's so I'm many gas good. stations. There's so many gas stations that have closed down, man. You know. Um, oh man, yeah. I, I, I'm gonna figure it out. <laughs> I'm gonna definitely <laughs> figure. It out. All right, let me get to this next article because I, I don't, I don't see uh, Triple X in the chat, man. Um, oh, Rainy Woman, raise her hand. What's going on, Rainy Woman? I was wondering how many male identified females can fit in this vehicle. Oh man, here you go. <laughs> I'm at the time you out, man. I'm at the time you out. <laughs> Take you to the wall. Crazy. <laughs> All right, let me get to this next one, man. This one is from uh, motor1.com. Mazda in race against time to make rotary sports car. I don't know, uh, Ty City. I, I know you're a big fan of the Rotary, but yeah, man. You know, <laughs> unless they made some kind of groundbreaking like uh, development, 
I, I don't see it, man. They had the RX Vision that they had as a concept car, but nobody ever seen the engine for it. Mm-hmm. Another day, another report about the converted, uh, a covade um, rotary engine from Mazda. This time around, Mazda's head of R&D and chief of design sheds some light about the return of a rotary-powered Mazda sports car. Speaking to Wills at the 46th uh, Tokyo Motor Show, Ichiro Hiros and Ikkyo Meta said that bringing back the rotary engine is still our dream. Yet his son, however, added that they are in the race against time when asked about the time frame. I understand the clock is ticking and the environment is, can change. We have to see if the future environment will accept a sports car with open arms. So we understand we are racing against time, Mazda uh, Mieda, Ameda San explained. With this, we can infer that the company isn't giving up its dream of a rotary sports car or rotary powered sports car, but it isn't in development just yet. We can also deduce <clears throat> that problems with emissions still play a huge part in hindering the RX moniker's return. However, patent filings for discover, were discovered earlier this year pointing towards Mazda doing something about the dreaded emission issue. The patents discuss enhancing intake efficiency, improving performance without increasing the ro- rotor's uh, sliding resistance, and a method of removing soot and water from the rotor chamber. Turbocharging also entered the picture, apparently. I, if you you don't stop filing patents until you uh, are absolutely sure that you're going forward with this. Yeah, I, I I'd like to see what they have because the uh, the Renes- the Renesis engine that they have from the RX5 what wasn't that revolutionary at all. Um, man, you know what? It probably had to be some kind of hybrid or some kind of, some sort. In which way? Uh, electric It'll and... Probably, yeah, be electric and uh, uh, assisted rotary. Mm-hmm. Um, but I don't know, man. The, the way the way Toyota dropped the ball with the Supra, like, this, this, they opened the door for, for stuff like this. The door is not open for stuff like this. this that, that's the whole issue. Like, I don't know what the heck is going on at Mazda. Like, I really want to talk to the who's ever on the board of directors at Mazda because this whole, the, the, the even talk about this makes no sense whatsoever because you, you're, you're talking about technology that you know there is no business case for whatsoever. Unless there's some type of novel application, as Ty City said, for the Rotary that makes it a, a, a better option for hybridization uh, than, say, for instance, a, a traditional gas piston engine, which I seriously doubt. Like, th- th- what, what, is, what is the entire point? I mean, th- yes, the, 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 the rotary engine does have packaging <clears throat> of, of uh, it does have packaging uh, benefits. But other than that, even for its size, um, the, the actual displacement um, is misleading because they, have, they don't have good gas mileage. Because you'll see an engine that says, oh, well, it's, it's only 1.3 liters displacement. Yeah, but it still uses gas like a three liter, even though it's a 1.3 liter rotary. So, I mean, it just, I, I just think it's a, um, I think it's a real waste of time unless they plan to amortize the art, the research and development costs across several platforms. Say, for instance, if you have that engine and you're able to use utilize it in more than one model, number one, and number two, if you had an application beyond uh, that, the, the rotary, the rotary will never be used outside of a performance aspect. Well, th- this is my point. So, unless you're able to amortize those those research development costs by having that engine in more than one model, which of course I I, I don't see happening, right? Maybe uh, some type of um, RX based SUV, like like what they're doing with the Mustang, and then maybe. Um, the, the sports car because you're gonna need, you're gonna need to move units you're gonna need volume to make a business case for this if if you're only gonna sell 
5,000 units a year, there is no business case for this. And then you got to look at, okay, well, can, can I use this engine design and maybe use it for like a generator, like a small generator because of the packaging, you maybe you can make a small, you know, some type of small commercial generator um, and you use the rotary engine technology and that, like maybe that amortize the uh, research development costs. So unless that's what their plan is, they need to scrap it right now and don't put any more money hey. into it, period. You know, hey, you know, Trish, that's funny, man. When you said that based on the displacement, it's like, and when you do the math on it, you look at fuel, but the the essence of the rotary is the power that it makes with that with that uh, displacement. It's not it's not based on that. That's what that's what it makes. So you can say it burns the same amount of fuel as, as a as a six liter, but it makes it about the same power. No, it doesn't make the same power. As, it, it makes maybe the same power as a three liter. But the but the issue is it doesn't make it doesn't make comparable torque. Now for its displacement, again for for that numerical displacement value, but the displacement value as a function of fuel efficiency, which is extremely important in this day and age, right? Now 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 we're talking about something that doesn't make any sense anymore. Yo, whenever we talk about these goofy ass pony cars, nobody talk about gas miles. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> now, you got me. You got me. You got me. You got me. You know now. Now we now we talk about things that have okay. bonds with purebred race history going back to the '70s, and we want to talk about gas mileage. Hmm. This will be this will be like Chevy saying we're gonna we're gonna stop uh, the the small block. <laughs> it's mm -hmm. it, it, it's part of the, it's built into the brand. Mm -hmm. Okay, but well, okay, but but see, the, the the small block is a tried and true platform. You can easily get 250 250k miles off a of small block with minimal with minimal upkeep costs. Mm -hmm. Try that with a rotary. Number one. Uh, number two. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, and number, two, <laughs> number two. We expect a vehicle that has five liters of displacement, 4.6 liters of displacement, six liters, 6.2 liters of displacement, 6.4. We expect that a vehicle like that to get abysmal fuel economy, especially when the power outputs are pushed to the limits like they are. Mm -hmm. Now, on, a, on another note though, I can't <laughs> front. That vehicle right there on the screen looks amazing. They would have to share the design with another manufacturer, like somebody, like a Chinese company in in, in China. They would have to do that, but for political Mazda reasons, would never do that. Mazda would never do that with the RX platform. But they but won't. that but 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 Mike, that's not the issue. The platform sharing is not even is not even as big of a cost as the actual engine development. Like at least you're going to get a return on the investment with the platform because you can carry that platform through several generations. You could actually have some trickle down technology with the actual platform, especially if it's a platform that could be modified, maybe it could be shortened or lengthened for other applications. Yeah, you could do that, but you can't, how are you gonna take that engine and have other applications for it? That's the question. Trey, Trey, hey Trey, if this thing come out, it's a four rotor twin turbo setup, it's gonna sell. Is it gonna sell in the volume? And it's gonna go. Is it, it gonna it, sell? And, and I, I'm pretty sure that's probably what they what they looking at, because. They built a three rotor already. But Ty, and, is it going to sell in the volumes? Is it going to sell in the volumes to cover the research and development costs? They have never had a problem selling rotary power vehicles. They they've sold them all. Yeah, but, they, but, but now now we're in a different era. We're in hybridization era. We're in electric vehicle era. Like I mean, it, it's a different time, Ty City. And then if they come out with the, if they come out with a goofy uh uh, uh paddle shift like they don't got no manual option like like I'm I'm a cancel Mazda. No, like, it, like, they wouldn't be able to compete with a manual transmission. Okay, but well, no, because but there's the actual demand, especially now for manual transmission since they're so scarce for the enthusiasts, which is which is a large customer base of Mazda buyers now. But here's the thing: this vehicle right here. Would apps now, Ty? See, let, let, let me let me let me let me see what you, what you think about this. This particular, I'm buying it. Right right, I'm buying it. Oh no, no, no! But I'm saying, but look it. 
the vehicle as you see it on the screen with the inline six? It wouldn't be an RX. Yeah, it'll be anything. Buy? It'll be anything other than an RX. So it'll be an MX six. Yeah, yeah, the RX is for rotary experiment. Would you buy it? Absolutely. So, so that's my point. Forget the doggone rotary engine. Throw an inline six in it. Call it whatever you want to call it. And oh no, it. you said with a with a with a with a V six. Inline six. Inline six. Yeah. Throw an inline six in it. Have a listen. Throw an inline six in it. Throw 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 a, 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 a manual transmission base automatic option and call it a day. Uh, Call it that's day. not what's going to sell it though. That's not that's not what's going to sell it, bro. Especially not for Mazda. Mazda already got Mazda already had the Speed Six, tur a, a turbo uh six. Pretty much is it, that's what they used to um to build the um the four V six that they have now. Listen, the, listen, uh, Eco Boost. Yes, the Eco Boots. All all that stuff was built off of Mazda technology. Mm -hmm. Ty, when the when the when the RX seven came out, the original, the, the not the not the not the original, the, the last the FD, the FD RX seven. When that one came out, that car yeah, was I, that, that car was expensive as hell for the time. Mm -hmm. It was like it was like it was like Corvette price, like fifty thousand, sixty thousand dollars in today's dollars. It was yeah, expensive. but we did we we dealing with a car that pulled point nine G's. I know, but and here's the on, point. On all tires. I know, we I know, talking I know, about a car. But we we talking about a with car this. with perfect balance. Like, I know, but see where I'm going with this. See where I'm going with this. So a car that came out at that time at that price, look at the demographic of the buyer. They sold the them out. Who, the, the, people, the people who bought that car now, who, who bought that car then, now are like in their 60s and 70s. They're like my dad's age. Right, it doesn't matter. Bro, the, the, so, wait, that's hold, what I'm saying. The, the, but, but hold on, hold on. We skipped it's young entire... people who love rotaries. No, but, but listen, this is what I'm saying. We skipped an entire generation with the with the with the no, with the model. So, so now so now they can introduce no, a new model. Man. Wicked, we can introduce a they can introduce a new model with a new power plant, mm -hmm. and, and, and you have a large demographic that won't care. They're gonna look at the car, no. they're gonna say good looking car, they're gonna say it has a good performance. The, 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 they 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 can't name it a RX. The, they don't have to name it an RX. I said they can name it whatever they want to. It's not gonna sell like an RX though. It, well, it, it don't have that same, it, it was still the same way. Them. It was so the same way that the Miata sells. Yeah, exactly. Well, no, well, no, I disagree because see, with this with this particular model, if they if they if they package it as a two plus two, which would be a smart bit. Like, I'm, I'm thinking from a business standpoint. A smart business move would package it as a two, as a two plus two. You have a larger trunk. It, it, it's, it's more practical for for somebody because you know that 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 the the the, uh, the MX five is a true, small true. trailer. What you're describing is not an RX. RX never had back seats. RX eight. Never was practical. RX eight. Don't play with me, Ty City. RX eight. Don't play with me. Suicide doors. Oh, you can have no, that one. No, no, now you don't really need a suicide door. I mean, but you could. I mean, but I don't you can you, have, you can have that one. I, I, I <laughs> you can have that one. But you know what? Hey, the RX, the RX8 is a phenomenal race chassis. A lot of people track those cars. Yeah, because it was, it was, it was, it was perfectly balanced. But here's the thing, Ty City. I'm thinking about things. Look at now. I know that you're passionate about the about the about the, about the rotary engine, but. From a business standpoint, what makes business sense? The business sense, the volume seller would be to have this particular platform, having a modifiable platform, say for that you can apply to maybe a maybe an SUV variant too. You have an inline six engine that you can use on multiple models. True. You have a you plus it, platform. <laughs> you have a hey, usable trunk. You have Tris. a usable trunk, and you're gonna Tris, sell let, volumes. Cheers. Let me tell you. The aftermarket has been very good to rotary engines over the years. No, like it, it's not the same how you think. It, it all they have to do is market it. Says the rotary engine returns. They all going to be sold out, pre-orders and everything. They're going to be gone. But, oh, yeah, but how many? Them. How many do you need to sell to get a return on your investment? That's the question. They're going to sell all of them. No, but in order, in order in order to turn get a return on an investment. Um, they would have to sell at, at the very least. Um, 
I think it's like ten thousand over his lifetime. Oh, that's that's nothing. No, they no, not over his lifetime. They'll no, I'm saying show. I'm saying over a, a product a product cycle, right? So a product cycle is usually uh usually about eighteen months. Um, if you look at the numbers for for Jaguar and their um the F type, they only sell about maybe uh, less than a thousand, less than a thousand well, a year. But if you look the at difference. their SUV, the F pace, they sold three thousand in one year. But the difference, Mike, is that the engines for those vehicles are shared across platform. If you have an engine that you only use in one model, you need to sell significantly more volume to turn a profit. That's the problem. Well, That's they would have to sell it at they would have to sell it at so 90 grand, with, 80, 80 grand. We're we dealing with an engine with uh, we we dealing with an engine with three to four moving parts. Yeah, and it still eat, and it still it still drinks oil. We got Nagone on the panel. What's going on, Nagone? <laughs> they sell them now, Triz. <laughs> you can't. Hey, it's too late, Triz. <laughs> oh, what's up, man? What's up, man? I'm, I'm, I'm just falling in, man. All right, all right. Let, let me get to this next. Um, yeah, let me get to this next article. This one is from GMAuthority.com. GM developed the 2020 Corvette using Porsche PDK transmission. While the naysayers will continue to bleat on about the lack of a manual transmission option in the all-new 2020 Corvette C8, they can at least take solace in the fact that the mid-engine sports car was developed using one of the best dual-clutch boxes in the biz, the Porsche PDK. The earliest mid-engine Corvette, uh, Chevrolet Corvette prototype, also known as Blackjack, was equipped with an uh, adapted Porsche PDK transmission as the M1L dual-clutch 8-speed Automatic, currently equip, uh, equipping the new 2020 Corvette, was presumably still in development. The PDK, or Porsche, uh, I'm not going to try to pronounce that, which Paul was here. As it's known back in Germany, is almost universally praised for its seamless and outrageously quick shift times. And is well known for reducing the acceleration figures and lap times of the, any Porsche model that runs it. Quite frankly, the PDK is the benchmark when it comes to performance double clutch transmissions and the 2020 Corvette is no doubt all the better for it. Cobbled together from a uh, litany of dis uh, uh, disparate, uh, disparate parts, including bits of, an, of a Holden UTE in a Chevrolet Corvette C7, the Blackjack was GM's first real attempt at a production spec mid-engine Corvette, and it definitely helps speeding up the development process if engineers can adapt something that, you know, already exists. Built by third-party supplier Tremec, and internally named the TR9080, the 2020 Corvette's eight-speed dual-clutch uh, transmission provides immediate shifts and high levels of engagement. With the paddles wired directly to the gearbox, sands a computer button into the into uh, having the final say. According to Tremec, the trainee is able to shift cogs in less than uh, 100 milliseconds without interrupting torque. It can also handle engine speeds of up to 7,500 RPM and a torque peak of 590, uh, 590 pound feet as, uh, as least for now. As for how it compares to the PDK, well, we'll have to get we'll have to get to the uh, 2020 Corvette out of a uh, track, out on a track next to a uh, Porsche 718 came in to find out for sure. Until then, subscribe. So, for all the naysayers who think that uh, you know the C7 or the C8 is not track worthy, um, I think we heard Paul say this before that. Um, overheating problems with the uh, Corvette. We'll see how this works. Well, you know, this it is it, this interesting because uh, earlier they were saying that it had a gay trade transmission. Mm -hmm. and, and it sounds like they um, they only started working on this maybe about five years ago. But Supertrins thinks that they were working on this maybe in 2005. 
I mean, uh, uh, well, well, I mean, obviously, you see that they uh, that the, so, some. Well, I guess maybe the test mule had a PDK transmission. So yeah, they've been working on them for quite a while now. They might have gone through some different transmissions, you know. Obviously, until they until they settled on which one they want to bring to production. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, they no, they, no. This is this this is an old this is an old Corvette. Make no doubt about it. I mean, I mean, it's still mid engine. I still like it for what it is. But I mean, ho- I, I think I think that what, what's gonna what's gonna be telling is 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 the next generation model how they update it. And I'm not talking about a mid cycle refresh. I'm talking about an actual update. We got Mr. Paul Bryant, the Minister of Defense, on the panel. <laughs> What's going on, gentlemen? How is everybody? Guten Tag. Guten Tag. Hey, hey, hold on. Paul Bryant, I need you to behave yourself when we're talking about this Corvette, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, first off, Mike, guten Abend. The Porsche Doppelkuppling Getriebe, as you all know, was... The first was the first uh, double clutch to market. So, uh, hold, you know. hold, on a hold on a second, hold on a second. Stop the show, stop the show, hold on a second. <laughs> Is this the Minister of Defense? <laughs> guten Abend, mein Bruder. Wie geht es Ihnen? Uh, guten, guten, guten Tag, guten Tag, mein Bruder. Mein Bruder. Uh, wie geht es Ihnen? Brother Nagon, it's a pleasure. How are you? How are you gentlemen doing? Chilling, man, chilling, man. Um, what's your take? You know, uh, GM is using uh, German technology. Why not? Engineering. The, Ger- the Germans are the best engineers in the world. They already <laughs> use uh, they are they already use ZF transmissions, which is a German company. They already use Bosch or Bosch, I should say, Bosch components, which is another German company. So why not use the Porsche Doppel Kupling Katriba? Again, agreed. I, I am not agreed. down on the Corvette. All I've said from day one, I am wait and see. I want to see what this thing does when it's on the track. Now that the GM strike is over, from the news that I've seen, um, I don't know if they're still going to meet that target date of dis- mid mid December for the first customer deliveries of the car. But super true. We're talking March. March now. Wow. Well, hey, listen. To be fair, they did have they did have a strike. All right. And GM released an article, I believe, in September, saying that they still had C sevens that have to be built. They have to finish the allotted run of C sevens. Once they did that, they were gonna idle the plant for about two to three weeks to retool the plant to start to build the C eights because every Corvette is and always has been only built at one plant, the one in Kentucky. So they usually I, take two weeks off, though, right? In November or December, it's, it's always like a uh, man, mandatory two weeks off to do re- retooling and cleaning up. Well, it's not. Yeah, it's not. I don't. I don't want to say it's that month. I don't know for sure, but mm-hmm. yeah, all, almost every automotive plant idles for two to three weeks. It's called the uh, shut the shutdown season. Automotive plants, oil and gas plants, power plants. So, for um, complete overall maintenance of the plant itself, but that is different from retooling. With the Corvette plant, they had to shut. They are going to have to shut the plant down to retool it because it's a different car. So they have to switch out the robots, switch out the tools and. And they use switch out the assembly line because it's a it's a it's a brand new car from top to bottom. Mm-hmm. Um, I watched Matt Farah today, man. He posted um the Lotus Evora GT on a track today. Um, I don't know if any of you have seen that um on a smoking tire. He made some comments, man. Um, about the C C eight. In comparison to everything else, including the uh, Lotus, and he said that um, he said that the Corvette is that good that you would have to question buying anything else at this point. That's that's mid or rear engine. And see that that's my thing with this uh with this GT five hundred. No, the GT five hundred. Are, are you talking? You're not talking about Mustang, are you? Yeah, we're talking about Mustangs. GT500 compared to the 
C8 Corvette? To, to, to everything else. If, if you're buying a new sports uh, hyper, not hyper, but um, exotic, he said that he's basically pointing, and this is the second time he said this, you would have to question buying anything other than the C8. That the C8 is that good. Well, I think from the yeah, perspective the of a collector's item, you know that the C8 is not going to be a collector's item like the Shelby GT uh, 500 will be. So that may be a, a business, that may be an argument for purchasing the GT 500. Um, as well as if you have the budget to purchase multiple vehicles, like we're we're thinking along the lines of somebody who only has in their budget to purchase one quote unquote toy, you know. But if somebody has you know money to have multiple vehicles in their garage, they should I'll buy the I'll buy the C8 and the Mustang. You know, for certain people, that that's reality. Well, most of the guys I know that own Corvettes, man, that is their only driver. Unless they have a beater in the winter, that, that is, that's pretty much their only driver. You know, that's funny you say that. I'm sorry, Nicole, go ahead. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Go ahead, Paul. Um, yeah, so, Mike, it's funny you say that because um, in New York City, it's been my experience that guys who own vets, that's usually their that's that's their toy. You know, that yep. a lot of guys they only they only drive it, you know, during the summer months, which in New York is a very short period. Mm -hmm. They'll usually drive it from that's say right. May to say October tops. And that's pushing it. Some of them they don't that's take right. that out until June. Se September fifteenth, it goes right back in the garage and the uh, triple charger. And I, and I mean, black guys, white guys. That's guys, right. It doesn't matter. That is a toy. That's not even the second vehicle. That's the third vehicle. It's a straight toy. Mm -hmm. But again, New that's York exactly is, what it is. And the roads, as you as you know, Paul's around. He, he, the roads. Go ahead. No, no, I'm, I'm done. Yeah. And but I think also when we talk yeah, about that's the A Corvette, since it's mid-engine. We have in a completely different vehicle uh, fundamentally. Um, I think that there may be a different demographic of buyers for this vehicle who are accustomed to having multiple vehicles, even beyond the conventional uh, weekender or a summer month driver who only has this for maybe, you know, three, four months out of the year and have it in the garage the rest of the year. And they have two other vehicles to drive. Like, I think we're going to see a demographic beyond even that. Like some people who might have conventionally bought maybe maybe who owns like a couple Porsches and maybe who owns a, a you know, a Ferrari or two. And they're like, you know, I'll just buy this. I'll just buy this as my, uh, as my grocery store car, just something to fool around in because it's cheap, you know, c c relatively speaking, I'm not saying it's a cheap vehicle by any stretch of the imagination, but if you're accustomed to buying $250,000 plus cars, you know, this little CA Corvette is nothing. Yeah. But if you're a broke guy coming from a Honda or, or an Accord or a Datsun, <laughs> and, and, and hey, you're looking. Hey, Triz. Hey, Triz. For for the money, for the money, which one are you going to war with? What are the options? This and the GT500. Uh, I don't know. I I, 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 think, I think I'll take the uh, I think I'll take the CA Corvette over the GT500. All right, just check it. Just check it. Yeah, see, just, I think that's an unfair comparison, though, because uh, this, for the money, it's not. No, it's, well, I understand what you're saying, but I'm saying uh, the CA hasn't been proven on track as of yet. I mean, the only person I've seen driving on track has been Matt Farah, and he's wax lyrical about it. But when it comes to the GT500, um, that car it's, was it's built. Right? It, it, it was built from the ground up to be on the track. From, from what I understand. I mean, they, they added new carbon fiber wheels, it's supposed to be better than the ones that came on a GT350R. So that, I mean, uh, who, who, who posted their video this week? Um, How she, much does this car weigh? What was this car oh, weigh? That, the, the 100 pounds, uh, soaking wet. But the, uh, How much? 4,200 pounds. That's pretty it's heavy. A it's a heavy yeah. car. Yeah. It's a pig. Yeah. It's a pig. So for, for the track, I, I, it ain't no 4,200 pound car, man, 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 built for the track. Yeah, that's I, think that's, that's built, I think that's built more for the quarter mile run if you want to do those quarter mile straight outs or something like that. But Absolutely. the track, 
you got to come. You got to come in there, man, close to a thousand pounds lighter than that. Yeah, that's what every that's what uh, Matt. Not, uh, who was it? Uh, Shmi. Shmi said that today uh, oh, or the other day. He said that um, at 40, 41, 4,200 pounds, man, that you, you need to lose at least a thousand pounds off it. I don't know if Foy could ever do that, man. Um, I, I know there's that. ways to do that. You at can go with a thousand. You, you can go with at, at least a thousand, right, Paul? Absolutely. When it yeah. comes when it comes to track running, anything yeah, over three thousand is considered heavy. Come on, I mean, an ideal track car is light, nimble, running about twenty eight hundred pounds. Now, a real race car is going to come oh. in there about nineteen hundred pounds. You know, with, 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 well, you know, you know what's funny? They, they have a real the, race car. They they have the uh, they, they have the technology and the uh, experience with aluminum from the trucks. Well, the thing is, I mean, if you had to just take it straight off the factory floor, you would have to put acrylic windows on there, carbon fiber deck lids and and, and hoods, um, front and rear bumpers. You would have to um, carbon fiber bucket seats. I mean, you already had carbon fiber wheels, but you would have to go like a titanium exhaust. Um, it's just right. so many ways that you would have to reduce the weight on it to even get to the uh the weight of a gt3 itself I mean, not even an rs just the GT3. price of the vehicle That's the, 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 the hood price. and all that would have to be fiberglass we couldn't have no big sheet metal sitting up in there so you would have to cut the weight off first off of the just the skin of the car mm-hmm. my, my only problem right. with the car is the price it is crazy yeah which, right, which, well they which said the base is... model snake is 80 grand but to option it up to where everybody else is getting it, they talking a hundred, no, hundred, a hundred, a hundred thousand dollars for that car where you got a, a base Bro, ride. The car, the, uh, the, the car, the, um, Mustang the, coming off of Gaddy. Crazy. The, the, the carbon fiber package is eighteen grand. Yeah, nah, eighteen man. grand. It's eighteen thousand for the carbon package. Right. Oh, you have what? to be a really yeah. Your neck would have to be really red for that, man. What is yeah, that, that, I mean, that, that's a, that's a, those are real Stang fans who really will do that. But anybody who's got any sense, they're gonna go with they're gonna go with that C eight man. They're gonna go man, with that C eight. Oh, go, go ahead, Paul. Go ahead, Paul. The number one enemy of performance mm-hmm. is weight. Wait, is weight the number two huh? enemy of performance is heat. So mm-hmm. weight and cooling. When it comes to a track vehicle, anything mm-hmm. over three thousand. Is literally considered heavy. Paul, and, yes, sir. Paul, Paul. It's a joke that they. It's it's they're jerking people around off talking about it. it's a track car, forty two hundred pounds. It's a joke. It's a Paul, joke. You can't even take it serious. You're gonna be that it's heavy. A it's a joke. Mile. It's if a it's gonna be that it's a quarter mile, that's what that car is. You gotta have at least all wheel drive to actually make up for the weight. They said it's even, pretty good even, on the track, though. They said it's pretty good. Well, here's the th- here's here's the thing, Mike. Now, now I know Schmid said this week about it being too heavy. I said this a month ago. Go go back go back to the first stream that you did on the Mustang GT500, and and you'll see where I said that this car was way too heavy for the track. Problem is with the car, but uh, them claiming that it's a track car, the wear and tear on the components, the brakes, mm-hmm. uh, the tires, that's where the weight really comes into play. And that's You're just gonna, gonna go and your brakes are- exactly. Talk Sprint about race, it. Maybe. Talk about it. Talk about it. Now you, you may be able to you may be able to use this car on the track for maybe like five laps, like a sprint race. Man, your brakes, your brakes are gonna go away. Your tires are gonna they're gonna they're gonna be like a mummy hitting the air for the first time in five thousand years. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? That's just going up that's just going up the smoke. I mean, your shit is gone. I, I mean you you're not gonna be able to hold anything because the car, um, and then if you're if you're a really good driver, mm-hmm. you do a lot of braking and stuff and moving, but but by actually scrubbing scrubbing speed off and that kind of stuff with your tires instead of your brakes so your yep. brakes are gonna go I, I mean excuse me your tires are gonna be gone you, at 40 you pounds sp- nobody's driving a race car 40 20 pounds Bro, that, that, anybody who knows this look at me okay they don't and even we, have a carbon brake package which which is total which, bullshit I mean, it, it which should, means make i can't crazy. take the car seriously because if you look at can't nismo, take it seriously. every nismo package nismo packages they I think there's only one actual Nismo package that actually increases power. Nismo packages reduce weight. The number one enemy of performance is weight. So Nismo packages are not about more power. They're about less weight. 
let me let me uh let me jump to this real quick because I I, I want to make sure we uh don't go too much into the Mustang before we get to the Mustang articles. Um, I had the opportunity to test drive this Sunday. Um, definitely dope car. Um, high on my list right now. Uh, for 2020. So let me uh Stick, sticker price sticker price. Uh, I think. I think I was quoted uh, 80, 85. The, is that the four? Is that the four ten of War four ten or what? Which no, it's GT it? GT just came out. So that's the one with the uh, how much horsepower does that one have? This one is four sixteen. Well, how much does it weigh? Three thousand twenty nine hundred, right? Or thirty two hundred? No, it's, thir- it's three thousand pounds. Three thousand. Oh shit. Yeah, that's go. a good way. That's pretty decent way. That's pretty decent way. We, we're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. Uh, my my experience with it, uh, it, it's very tight, like a uh, like a Lambo, like a like a Gallardo or a uh, Huracan. Um, it's really really quick and it's really powerful for what it is. It's everything's like jam packed in there, like a um, like a like a stove or something like that, man. Like you're really crammed up in there, but um, it's narrow too. <laughs> So no Timberlands. You won't be wearing Timberlands with this, man. You got to get some dedicated driving shoes. <laughs> and and, and the I, 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 I can't heel toe with my heel toe with my no, no Crocs, man. No Crocs. No Crocs, man. And the gone. The gone. Make the gone and Paul <laughs> Bryant. The gone and Paul Bryant. That means no BBWs for y'all too. Go ahead, family. No, no fat chicks, bro. Listen, I don't know if I've ever told you. No fat chicks. Mm-hmm. Hey, oh, you say Chris? Hey, pull that picture back up. You said no BBW. Would, 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 would you say uh, <laughs> no BBW? I said, I said, I said, pull that picture back up. Okay. What? Well, what about it? Do you like or don't like? Oh, uh, okay. It, it. Well, I, I, I think the design looks dated, but. Um, see, see the, see the, 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 the brake disc, it's got floating brake disc, right? See that the, the middle of the brake disc is aluminum. Mm-hmm. And they already, and they already drilled. Mm-hmm. I think I know this. where you're going with this, but just, what you're just talking keep, about. Now, what I'm saying is keep that in mind whenever we start looking at this, the, the Mustang. Right, but the Mustang, bro, the Mustang is true to its heritage. It is a quarter mile. That's exactly what it is. But, that, but that's not that's, that's what not, it is. That's, that's, not, that's, that's not why they said they designed it. I don't. You know, they call it GT for Grand Touring, but yeah. At the end of the day, but it's, it's not, not a track, track car. car. Forty-two hundred pounds. You're not a track car. But that, but it's got a track pass. It's not track. I don't care. Listen, listen. You. I think they're doing that to. That, that's to make money. They, they're trying to make money on that. That's oh. make money. <laughs> they, they're shaking the money maker on that one. That, 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 that's a money maker. They're okay, shaking the money maker. But, but, but why? 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 Why are they consistently quoting their zero to one hundred to zero times? If well, I think that, that I think that's really the quarter mile piece. I, Dr. Phoenix no, just put no, something. No, because think about Nagon. Nagon. Uh, hold on a second. Dr. Phoenix just put something in the chat. He said that. This car ran ten. Uh, uh, it ran a ten six quarter mile at a buck thirty three. All right, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Being that the Dodge Demon uh, uh, is running, you know, like ten threes. You know, you, you know, like one thirty five. You know, you, 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 you know, you know. So, 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 so that, that's that's ten second car. That's, that's that's good. Okay, you ain't running out. You ain't you ain't going on the track and 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 and, and out maneuvering these lighter weight. Track built race race or, or, or let's say race enthused sport cars that are out here that, that that are out here right now. It ain't doing it, man. It's too fucking heavy, bro. Too heavy. Yeah, I don't care how good you drive. I don't care how good you can. You got a Schumacher behind it. I don't care. You can. You you, you <laughs> can have a. Uh, uh, I don't care who the fuck. You can put you, you know, can put, uh, you can put complex design behind it. <laughs> get complex up in that piece. It ain't gonna happen, man. It ain't gonna happen. Bro, okay, man. but okay, but but Nagon, why Good. why the, the zero to okay, the zero to one hundred is one thing, but
but the zero to 100 to zero is irrelevant on a drag strip. Like, nobody cares about what your breaking is on a drag strip. It's a jack off session, fam. I'm just it's telling you, it's a jack off session. Marketing, you're right. It's, it's, it's a jack off session. It's a marketing game. <laughs> they, they, they're sitting right. down saying, okay, pull it, okay, pull it down. Okay, you can jack it real quick. This is live, right? That's all they're telling, <laughs> that's all they're telling you. They're trying to sell you some shit. All right. At the end of the day, I don't give a damn who you are. My man's laughing hard because it's true. I don't care who you are, bro. Ain't no race car. Ain't no track car at 4,200 pounds. That's bullshit. Just going into the freaking curves is going to freaking scrub off a lot of speed just on the way alone. Listen, just just on inertia. Forget there about it. There is a reason. Forget there about it. There is a reason why drag racers don't go to the don't go to the racing track. There's a reason why racing cars aren't in endurance racing cars. And there is a reason why endurance racing cars and track racing cars aren't WRC cars, okay? Each four of those separate disciplines require four separate different types of engineering vehicle, all right? So when you tell me zero to 100 to zero, that is marketing for a road car for some guy that's exactly a lifelong Mustang loyalist to buy it because he's he's living his life a quarter mile at a time, stoplight to stop. That's exactly it. A very Na- good hey, hey, can't, 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 be, can't, can't be can't be better said. That's the bottom line on that. Oh, all right. Let the- Go, go ahead, the record sorry. show, I do not call these cars sports cars because when I was saying there was marketing them, I got laughed out the park. I mean, I mean, for practical purposes, you can call it a real sport car. You know, it would be the Corvette, all right? You know, or Lambo. Somebody. I mean, a real sport car. I mean, you know, is a you know is a is a Mustang a real sport car? No, they call them pony cars. You know, they call them pony cars. I mean, so that Trans Am and all that, those, those are pony cars. Hey. So, you know, technically, okay, you, you, you know, I, I understand. But, that, but that's the American muscle kind of game that's being, you know, that's being thrown around. Do you, but, do go you ahead, remember brother. a car that Ford made and the car came out, I want to say, 89. And I, f- I forget the name of the car, but it was actually when Ford owned Mazda, the, f- the car was designed by Mazda. It was a coupe. And it was a Ford, and they called it a sports car, but it 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 was a small GT car. It was not a sports car. It was marketing it was a probe. Type. Thank you, the Probe, the Probe, and the yeah, probe. yeah, yeah. My sister in law actually had. Yeah, it was a. It was based off the six two six for the MX. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What they called the monster version. And, 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 the Probe, the Probe was front wheel drive. My uncle and it was front wheel drive. Front wheel drive car H- had some balls. Actually, had yeah. some balls. Handled handled fairly well. Actually, was a pretty decent car, but but was built like shit. I, I think it was full. They, they had but, a smaller but, one. The MX3 had the V6 motor in it too. That was, that, that was motherfucker was moving too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, I mean, I mean, and plus front wheel drive, you're gonna get better. You know, you're gonna get better, slightly better handling on it uh, than, than handling real wheel drive car, which you have to really learn how to drive a little mm-hmm. a, a little bit better. But um. But but yeah, you know, those those cars, those those are little cute little cars. You know, they they they, they were decent, but right. But, but they're all. But they were, but, but they weren't hell on the road. Though. They were marketing hype. They that's exactly that right. Not, they were not right. real sports cars. Now, what Mike has on the screen right now, this is a sports car, a Porsche. Any Porsche is a sports car. With that's a sports okay. Well, hold, 11, on the hold on. Hold on. <laughs> hold on. Because according to some people, hold on. According to some people. According to some people on this panel, because that because the Porsche has it's not back, a sports car anymore. It's not a sports car. Somebody who said that? Who who's I'll say, that? I'll say it. I'll say it. It's it, it's it's more a sports tour now. Oh, oh is there, see, what, 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 what are you talking about? The Cayenne or or or, or are you talking, talking about? about the, the I'm talking about the beloved not of the the, the Porsche. Nine Eleven. Yeah. The nine eleven. That's not a sport car. Sports car they, they, they no. there's been some debate recently that, that the nine eleven, the GT, big now. Yeah, it is big. I actually got yeah, some they, pictures. They, I went to the dealership to test drive one. Yeah, they, 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 they makes for, for the American market because they're really trying to trying to market more to American drivers. Right. Well, it, it's just and, big. It's just big in particular in comparison to like a Cayman, right? A Cayman is considerably smaller than it. Well, the Cayman, the, the Cayman, in my opinion only, in my opinion only, the Cayman was another Porsche attempt 
to move away from the 9-11, which they never can. Yeah. Of course, the Car Club of America will never let that happen. Yeah. But the Cayman was, was another attempt to move away from the 9-11 mm-hmm. because every magazine, every reviewer, every, every person who has ever driven the Cayman has said from day one, the Cayman handles better than the 9-11, but it doesn't have the power. So what does that tell you? The engineers want to move away from the 9-11, but right. they can't. Right. I don't know. Like I said, uh, you know, there are very few hey, sports hey, cars, hey, really hey, sport hey, cars. Hey, hey, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. We can't I, stop these I, people I mean, from making how they make them, man. The Dodge Viper, when, they, when, they, when that car first came out, that was a sport car. That was a sport car, all right? You know, the Corvette, when it first hit, that was a sport car. Those were sport cars. No, it's like, I don't I, call it a sports I, car. I, I, I got to disagree. I got to disagree, the zone. When a Dodge Viper first came out, not not what it what? became. When the Dodge Viper first came out, it was a muscle car. It used the actual truck engine. It no, it wasn't. Oh, bro, 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 bro. Okay, bro. Let me, it wasn't let, refined let me, either. No, no, no. Let me get right on that. Nah, that Viper was almost like a supercar, bro. The Absolutely, Viper was a bro. race car. Supercar. Hold on, hold on a second, Tris. Tris, hang on a second. Let me let me break it down for you. The Viper first came out. The Viper was first. It was an experimental race car. It was a race car. That's what it was. It was a race car. It was a two seat race car. Actually, it was almost like a single seater, but it was a, it was a race car. Then they looked at the model of the car and they decided that they were going to release or make some street some streetable versions of this vehicle for the street. And it was a pure race car. A lot of dudes because I knew a couple of guys who got jacked up in them cars they got fucked up in them they didn't have spin control on the whole thing and they would they were literally getting a track ready like sport car and it only had 450 horsepower when it first came out but the car was light the in the ass the, the car was light in the ass the car was but it was under 3,000 pounds the car was about 2,200 pounds 2,300 pounds light in the ass all right, 450 horsepower car had it was way too strong for most of these guys to drive this car around. And guys over there, man, up, up in uh, up in the mountains of uh of um of uh <laughs> California and stuff like that, man. You know, you know, Ventura Valley and all this other crap. They were flying the cars off of the road. <laughs> cars, cars, cars were being, they were flying these cars off of the road, man. They were like, hold on a second, nah, man. We said we we got to do something with this car because it's too dangerous. It was really a race car. You really had to have racing skills behind it. You had to know truly how to drive a race car um to drive this thing because this and car was, it motor was they put it out and it really wasn't streetable. It, it it really wasn't a streetable car. It, it really wasn't and people were getting jacked up in those cars. And then they ended up toning them down even more. They put more horsepower on them to put the V10 in there and all that kind of stuff. It was uh, but the car was way and they, they put the weight up on it because the car was too light too light you had to be a real racer to play with it because light car like that it's just you know it's, it's gonna it's gonna take you off the road you know you, you you're just gonna go flying off off the road and then something like this especially with them with them cats over there driving around in the valley and all that in california thinking they were butter late and had no skills um so so that that's what was happening that was a race car it was a race prepared car when they first came out and they came out with limited edition of the viper um as a as a street car and um it was a very dangerous vehicle very dangerous Hey, let oh. me get to this. Let me get to this article. Uh, we, we're wasting a lot of time. Um, this one is from Jalopnik. Porsche will let you shift your own gears on the 2020 Porsche 911 Carrera S and 4S. Uh, I think this was bound to happen. I'm not going to bother reading the article because um, uh, actually, uh, manual transmission comes in at 3,298 pounds. I don't know if you can get your. Uh, I don't know if you can get your Mustang to actually uh, lose that kind of weight. But um, based on that, it looks like the male is about 84 pounds lighter than the one with the eight-speed PDK gearbox. Hmm. 3,200 pounds doesn't sound really heavy, man. Um, what What do they mean? It's like, like... Say, say that again, Trish. Uh, uh, um, what, it, what do they mean shift on, on the uh it's not a traditional shift? No, the, the, they say column, but in, in Germany and Europe, a column is referred to the con the uh middle console with the uh and in America we call it a column around the steering wheel, right? It's just a difference in uh 
out right. of terminology. In Germany, they call that the center column. Yeah. Where we would call the center right, right, right. center uh, panel, they call that the center column because it's mm-hmm. the center of the car between the, two, between the two front passengers. Okay. It's a, it's a stick shift. So, yeah, they finna sell these like hotcakes. Um, well, I was Porsche actually makes, at... Sorry, go ahead, Mike. No, you go ahead. I'm, I'm just going to... Um, Porsche up. makes, what, 29 different versions of the 911 now? Not a real Yeah, it has um, a lot of personalities. You know, you're right. <laughs> and that's not even counting the... The, what the 718, which is really which looks a lot like the nine the 911, and then the Cayman, which you know kind of moves, which is another car that you know moves the goalpost forward, you know. So, yeah, um, I was at the dealership uh, over the weekend, man, and, and, and got these uh, picks, man. I went to go test drive one. Um, definitely like it, man. It's it's up there. It's pretty dope. Um, I like the numbers too um, that they worked out. So. Um, high that, one, that one got the stick? No. No, these are all PDK. Oh, okay. Really, really, really like this one, though, man. That's just badass. Yeah, that's, oh, gotta, um, that's stupid that's right there. Manual transmissions have gone the way of the Dodo Bird. There are very few cars that you can actually buy in 2019 with a manual transmission. Yeah, 80, 80, 85 percent of American vehicles sold, or vehicles sold in America, are automatic transmission. Yep. And funny enough, it, it was actually led by Ferrari. Luca de Montezemolo, before he left Ferrari, said that we will no longer make manual transmission cars. How do you have a Ferrari without the Ferrari gated shifter? But they did it. They led that charge. Well, they got the pass. They got the what? I'm sorry, Nicole, you uh, cut out the paddle. They, 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 you, you got the paddle shifts, and plus right. they want to sell these cars more to women. So mm. they want to send them, they want to sell them more to females. Well, it's women also well. It, it, well, it's also about fuel efficiency, right? I mean, you have to reach a certain level of fuel efficiency with these uh, with these new emission standards. So, and you can only do that with. Uh, seven, eight, nine, and ten speed transmissions. You're not really going to do that with traditional uh, six and seven speeds. Yo, that's it right there. That's it right there, bro. Yeah, I really, I really, really liked it too, man. Um, oh, they so underrated, dog. Oh yeah. my. Ooh, people look at this car; and they don't even know. You know what that car reminds me of? That car reminds me of a German version, a refined German version of the Viper. Yeah, but this shit is hot though. God damn, this shit is hot. Oh, yeah, yeah, it is. Ben, yeah, that I, now, now, is... That, now that car, True, that, that car, I out, might you. take over the C8. Yeah, that car, <laughs> I might take over the C8. Yeah, this shit's hot, fam. This shit, this shit is hot. That's for sure. Wow, that motherfucker right there is stupid, bro. That that that's an enthusiast <laughs> car right there. You ain't you ain't pulled up. Yeah. Somebody yeah. got that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what you said? You said it's an enthusiast car. Yeah, that's an enthusiast. That's hot. Car. It's that, nah, it's somebody that works at the dealership. It's somebody that works at the dealership. But um, yeah, it's hot. That's that's hot. That's tight. That's tight. Too. Yeah, the the um the AMG GT the GTR Pro version to this man is it's up there with a GT um GT3 RS. Really? Yeah, it's it's really up there. Time all track times and everything is really up there, man. You got rear wheel steering and all that, man. So. I, I, you you know. that? Mm-hmm. Because at the at the Nurburgring, the um the mm-hmm. V the, the VLN races, mm-hmm. it's the BMW M4 G, G M, BMW M4 GTR, mm-hmm. the AMG G AMG GTR, mm-hmm. GT, oh, and the cool. um and I'm forgetting one. I'm forgetting one. <laughs> or what am I forgetting? Oh, the um 911 G the 911 G GT2. RS. Mm-hmm. So, as uh, as straight racing goes. Yeah. I really like the GTS as well, man. GTS is uh, really high on my list as well. So, Damn. what's the different on the GTS, Mike? This is a 991 GT, uh, GTS, but the other ones that we were um, looking at were 992 Carrera what S's. Is what, is, what, what does this car run? Uh, they want 
Um, one ten for it. That's not bad. How much he want for it? One ten. Yeah. It's still a lot of money. It's still a lot of money. Well, it's a GTS. Yeah. It's the top of the line of the of the nine elevens. Yeah, it is. I mean, I ain't, you know I don't care if I got fifty million. I'm not spending a hundred grand for a car. I'm just. <laughs> I mean, I'm just not, man. And it's just not. No, I'm just not. When I, when, I, when I can actually get a house and redo it and everything else like that, for like, I ain't buying no car for 100, 100 grand. Man, you better stop. Them Germans this is, is the it. same guy who takes a SRT8, puts a blow on it, puts some yeah. Hoosiers on it. That shit, that shit was, that shit was it, whack. It, it was crazy. It was crazy. <laughs> I shouldn't have done that, but it was crazy. <laughs> no, no, no. That, that shit was crazy. I mean, I mean it was crazy. I, I, that, shit, that car was crazy. It was a it was an straight Ill. pipes, it was straight pipes on it. it, can't, it was Ill. can't avoid the police. Everybody can hear you coming from a block away. And when you and when you hit the gas, the car, you know, you know, when Kenny, when Kenny, when Kenny started singing, you could hear his thing going. Whee! It was like, oh shit! So mm-hmm. it's like mm-hmm. everybody Bell heard blow? you, you know, and yeah, it was mm-hmm. kind of mm-hmm. a Kenny Bell blower on it. Yeah, man, it's a blower. That shit, mm-hmm. shit was super crazy. Yeah, and, and and it ran on hundred hundred octane lead. Racing mm, man, man, listen, I used to put racing fuel in the car, and the car used to make. Because I over here, Joe Spetta, his speed shop over there. Because you know he, he he runs down English Town, New Jersey, and all. He's got a lot of races out there. And I would go right there, and I would get the hundred. Um, you know, you know, I, I would get the you know I would get the racing gas. Then and, and this shit was blue. It was lead, and it was blue. It was blue, a fucking blue gasoline. It was shit was blue, and the car would. And he say you got to. He says you can run it a little bit, but he said if you run a lot, you're gonna kill the O2 sensor. So he says you can't mm-hmm. run it all the time. Right. So so, mm. so, so so I said cool, and then you put the thing in the car. And the car would be like blah, 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 blah. it would be spitting shit. <laughs> it was just all man. Nah. So you dry that so, shit. Blah, 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 it would be spitting and crying. <laughs> it was, it was like the Tasmanian shit. devil. <laughs> Hey, was, hey, Mike! It was, it was, <laughs> it was. Hey, Mike! Real. What's up? I, I found the, uh, I found the perfect uh, GTR. Right, mm-hmm. this guy got it. He sells it for a good price, right? Mm-hmm. So he he got a bank. Uh, uh, he still got a bank lien on it. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to see how I can find out how much he owes on it. Wait, how do you have a bank lien on a Nissan GTR? The car wasn't that expensive. Probably stop paying on it. Probably stop paying on it. But dude, hey, dude. hey, the, the guy, the guy want to like he in a bind right now. Dude, the Gen One GT, the Gen One <laughs> Nissan GTR was eighty thousand dollar car. How does he still have a bank lien? On a it? bank loan? Why? Like, what the? I'm trying to wrap my head around that. <laughs> Man, no, so I am I. He, I. I think he, he. I think his. I think his bank probably financed it probably about five years ago. Probably. Yeah, but dude, the it's generation not a two now. or the current it's not that specific. Like what, like one, one twenty with the it, it, with, uh, with the full Nismo package. It's it's about what one, one eighteen, one twenty. Bank lien. Well, maybe he might have went through a divorce or something, man. I guess the car so. got ten thousand miles on it, mm-hmm. and he, 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 and he, he, he won't fifty for it. But I know he, he probably owe way less, and he can't afford the payments. Some some guys get themselves, uh, you know, upside down, man, uh, more times often than not. So uh, let's go to Johnny Blaze, man. He he hasn't had a chance to speak. What's going on, Jay Blaze? Hey, what's going on? What's going on, guys? Johnny Blaze. Hey man, I want to go ahead and throw. Uh, you guys are gonna hate me. I gotta go ahead and throw a little grenade on this one. Mm-hmm. But uh, my Tesla will still smoke most of this stuff. Oh man, here he go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Man, your box, no your box, no freaking metric. electric, man. Go on with Wait, that. Time out. No, time no, out. no. Time out. Time out. Everybody pump the brakes. Of course. Everybody. Pump Everybody the pump their brakes. <laughs> We've all seen the YouTube yeah. footage. Of the Tesla T one hundred D smoking everything at the drag strip. Okay, so go. listen, hands down, uh, no one is worthy. Fair enough, but <laughs> once we leave that drag strip, dude, my my Audi S four is walking on you. Come on, man, <laughs> cut it out, cut it out. A yeah, Tesla, let, come on. Yeah, let's go to let's go to Farrell. Oh, what's good? Can y'all hear me? We can hear you, fam. Go ahead. 
Hey man, Ben's game, man. You know what it is, German game. But anyway, every uh, day, all who, day, uh, exactly. And Boy, but, uh, who, who was that that said that that Tesla? Let, let me tell you something, man. We don't we don't roll with that around here. We some true racers. We some true car enthusiasts. So Elon <laughs> Musk can take that electric box. <laughs> it up we, high, yeah, man. nah, I would I wouldn't go as far as to say that, man. That P100D, man, was designed I mean, just for I, that. I, I know, I know. Yeah. I'm just, I, that, I just that hate Porsche, on people. Talking about, <laughs> Look, talk about I, it. That Porsche, it's quiet. You don't hear me it. coming. <laughs> they talk about it. They're taking. They talking about it. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't, you know, because look, listen, I, I worship, at, I worship at the German altar of automotive excellence twenty four seven. However, even the Germans are now making making a full push to full electric vehicles. So, mm-hmm. But I will say this, I will say this, and we all know this, whether you, whether you like it or not, you have to accept it or not. Mercedes Benz is the luxury standard of the world. Either you are below that standard or you are above that standard. But Mercedes-Benz is the standard. And when it comes to automotive engineering, Germany is that benchmark standard. Either are you above, no one's below. I mean, when you start, no one's above. Everybody's below. But, you know, look, listen, when it comes to the internal combustion engine, German engineering for me every day, all day. Right. I, I mean, I mean, they make a sturdy car, and they got so many redundancies in that vehicle that you can just continue. You, you can you you can hit that car with a grenade, and it's gonna keep, it's gonna continue to run. Um, but I, you know, I mean, no, those cars. Car, Tesla. I can't. Yeah, yeah, but but Tesla's. Yeah, I mean, Tesla's kind of new. I mean, I mean, listen, it's a badass. I mean, I'm not, I'm not gonna sit down and and and, and diss it. I, I'm definitely not, but um, you gotta you gotta put it all in in perspective. You know, if you're looking at a quarter miler. It's pretty good. Um, I don't. I don't. I haven't seen the Tesla run against the uh, against the Dodge Demon. I haven't. I haven't seen it. Oh, I think this 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 I video this video this, this video of a quarter strip. Um, I mean a quarter mile. Um, on YouTube. Uh, because uh, because some woman some woman ran a nine seven or she ran a nine seven in the um in the Demon. So she ran a nine. That was her time. Um. Yes. And in, in it, yeah, yeah. She like she like ran nine seven eight or something. And um, NHRA, NHRA, and these started 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 bitching hey, and talking um, smack. And all you may want to watch this YouTube guy named well, Demonology. There was a um, yeah, oh, that's my man, oh, man, that's bro. When boy. he raced that goddamn Corvette C seven from AMP. Them niggas yeah. did it in eight, bro. That's <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, eight seconds. Yeah. Well. well well, well, I, I mean, but the, but the car is specifically prepared. They yeah. had all kind of stuff in it. In fact, uh, um, uh, in fact, they had a uh, they, they had a GT5, or I'm trying to think, um, or I don't know if it was a GTR. I'm trying to think, Stang Mustang they had that was totally, you know, you know, you know, just just totally modded out. I mean, what Demonology is saying is, I he can come in there with a basically a street production car, mm-hmm. a factory production mm-hmm. car, and you know, throw on the you know throw on, you know, the, the proper wheels, you know, uh, cause he uses Mickey T me and Mickey Thomas, yep. run Mickey yep. T's, you know, slicks on the, um, you know, you take the seat out the back, you know, you put the, you know, you, you know, you, you, you put the skinnies on the front and the car out, out the showroom floor is actually coming off the ground. You know, the wheels, the front yep. wheels come off the ground and this car, if you run it right and you're at the right track, you at the right track really. Cause I think it's the track because sometimes, you know, you just, you're just not going to be able to catch properly. But if you know how to launch that vehicle properly, you can, it's potential, you can get that car 10 seconds, maybe under. I mean, and that's coming, that's coming out of showroom. So these, so it's Mustang and all them, you know, these guys can come out with these crazy stangs and these crazy vets, but none of this shit's coming out of the showroom mm-hmm. like that. So, you know, th- so that's what Demonology's talking about. And he's grabbing, he, 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 he snatched a lot of souls. <laughs> he snatched a lot of yep. souls out there. <laughs> with his, uh, man, he done put uh, with he, done snack, he done put McLaren he snatched, he snatched all souls. the on their asses <laughs> yeah, he, he, he snatched a lot of souls out there and dudes walked out of there tight dudes walked out of there tight, tight. Well, you, I mean upset yeah, like, if, you, oh, man. Yeah, if you're losing bread over there yeah you would walk out of there tight yeah, maybe if you had yeah, skinny jeans you might out walk, walk even tighter now a dude had a Nissan GTR <laughs> Joe Tech now he put him on his ass now I was shocked 
You remember uh the yo, yo, he he said, he said, uh, I need to know who that was because he did put demonology on his ass. Yeah, that's yeah, a, but, that's, but 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 with that GTR, I mean that thing. car was, I mean that car that was had a plastic out. hood. I, I mean he had the whole he had the whole car tricked out. Yeah, he had the whole car designed to run a quarter mile to run under nine seconds. That's what he designed that car for. But I, this is my thing: if if they live like that, go ahead and put that car in production and 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 and, and, and put it in the, and put it out in the market. Go ahead, quick quick question. put that car, quick, make that make that a production question. car. They're not gonna do it. They're not gonna do it. Wait, wait, wait. What, what, what car is that? Because they did put a drag, a drag car out. Wait, you about the Super Snake bullshit? No, 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 no. Dodge did. They put a Hellcat out there. It came with a two. No, 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 not the Hellcat. They, they got the they, they they got the Dodge Demon. The Hellcat is is is. Yeah, is yeah, yeah. Color. That's what it is. The the the, the Demon. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, what the it Dodge is. Dodge Demon. Yeah, yeah. We yeah, yeah, that, we talking about Demon. Demon. Yeah, because between yeah, that, it's the the Red Eye. Yeah, it come with the uh, it come with the Mickey Thompsons. It comes with a toolbox. No, 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 no. Yeah. Don't come with the Mickey T's. Mickey it, Thompson, it, it, you got to buy those separate. You got to buy those separate. You got to buy no, those. You know, they, yeah, they, but, they, but, they, but, they're running but can I ask? But can can I ask this question? Mm-hmm. When these right. guys are running these uh demons, are they betting money or are they betting beta male coins? Oh, here you go. <laughs> some, some, <laughs> some send this guy some right back to that, no, no, send, no, no, send no, 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 that's funny, 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 that's that's funny, but, but at the end of the day, they, <laughs> they are, a lot of these guys off, off, because was, cause I think, I don't know if you can gamble, or I don't know, they got something on, on YouTube, which I, I, I don't know if they have any, some of them do uh, bet, some of them, uh, they gamble a bit, but some guys are running for money, yeah, 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 and anytime you go to the, bro, you know they're gonna be cashing off people on that well, quarter. I mean, so, so, yeah. so, so, so there's money involved. Yeah, there's yeah money send, involved. send Paul back to Dresden, man. <laughs> <laughs> there should be a ball bearing factory over there. We can put him in, man. And give him a couple of uh, beta bell coins on on top of that. But anyway, <laughs> yeah, that's pretty funny, Paul. But, Come on, <laughs> Kevin, Kevin, Kevin Samuels. <laughs> Let me get to this article. Like you silly. Get this article. All right, this one is from TechCrunch, man. The 2020 Ford uh, Shelby Mustang, a Savage Daily Driver muscle car. Um, I'm only going to read a few paragraphs for this, but um, the Shelby GT500 is a beast on the track. It's not a surprise. After a day of driving around Las Vegas, I found something that surprised me. The GT500 is as comfortable on the road as it is on the track. The Shelby GT500 is an icon of motoring. The name implies a simple formula of stuffing a lot of power into a modest body. I'm pleased to report Ford stuck to the proven method for the 2020 GT500. A 5.2 liter supercharged engine provides 670 horsepower in this coupe. It's the most powerful Ford ever mass produced. The 2020 Mustang uh, Shelby GT500 is a future classic and unlike its predecessors, the car is memorable for more than just going fast in a straight line. Hmm. The 2013, 2014 GT500 was a monster. It was raw and unhinged and had the thumping sole of a muscle car from a bygone era. It was a Mustang in the purest form. Fast down the drag strip and uh, let me um, let me let a minute tomorrow on. Fast down the drag strip and prone to crash when burning out of cars and coffee. This time around, Ford created something different. The 2020 GT500 is still packed with power, but refined enough to create a vehicle that's capable and comfortable. On the track, the GT500 drives into corners and roars down the straights. On the drag strip, it hits the quarter mile in less than 11 seconds. I did a 1098. And on the street, it's comfortable driving between red lights. The GT500 is a car someone could drive daily to and from an office park. I took my tester to uh, Starbucks and through the back streets of Las Vegas. Lime, uh, uh, what's going on to go, man? Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man. Here, let, let me blow my nose. I apologize. It's sublime thanks to a brilliant implementation of a seven-speed dual-clutch transmission. The DCT manages the communication between the engine and the tires. It's lovely. The dual-clutch transmission is light and quick, with shifts happening as fast as 80 milliseconds. That's pretty quick. On the track, that's critical. 
And on the streets, it makes uh, for easy driving. When cruising from red light to red light, the shifts are refined. They are quick and light as they translate the engine's obscene power into mid into mild mod, uh, motoring. During my short time with the 2020 GT500, I never felt overwhelmed with power when driving it on city streets. The 2020 GT500 is an exercise in controlled restraint. restraint. Somehow, this 670 horsepower can a Ford can hit 60 miles per hour in 3.3 seconds and still be easy to put down uh, puts around town. It's surprising and a testament to the advances made with uh, within Dearborn. The on-street feel is critical to the success of the latest GT500. Not everyone is looking for a dragster or a track superstar. With performance, with this performance car, Ford is punching up, apparently, to entry-level Porsche and BMW buyers with Sticker Shark. The GT500 is not apologetic. It's not trying to be a European sports car, and yet I find it competitive with some of the best from Germany. Hello, Paul. You don't sleep on the GT5 on this GT500. When instructed, the 670 horsepower engine will rip the soul from your body. Drop the pedal to the floor and it hits 60 miles per hour nearly as fast as Ford's GT sports car. Let me advance Super Tris real quick. The interior is lackluster for the price. No surprise. When the GT5, <laughs> quiet tight city. When the when the GT500 is fitted with all the options, it approaches six figures. The performance is worth the sticker price, but the interior is that of a car costing around thirty thousand dollars. Hello, Thai City. The GT500 comes with upgraded seats, extra gauges, and some materials are improved. In the end, the GT500 lacks the interior refinement of an M3 or AMG C-Class, and it will likely cost Ford some sales. Four engineers fitted the Shelby GT500 with a powertrain that will devour tracks. The dual cross transmission keeps the 700, 670 horsepower supercharged engine in line. During my time on the track, this, this DCT performed admirably, gleefully holding shifts until the right moment and rev matching downshifts while dipping into corners. Sure, a manual transmission would be fun at times, but using this DCT means peak performance is more obtainable. Hello, Supertris. The 2020 Shelby GT500 attacks uh, corners unlike any other, uh, any most uh, muscle cars dipping and diving without a hint of the brakes fading. Hello, Nicole. Gotta see it. Gotta see it. Gotta see this. I'm sorry. Here we go. <laughs> it grips better than expected, holding on the tires on the uh, tarmac, even during the most extreme cornering. The on track performance is impressive for any car, let alone a Mustang. The GT500 offers a class leading track performance. A Dodge SRT Hellcat Red Eye will beat the Mustang to a quarter mile, but the Mustang will pull ahead at the first corner. On the drag strip, nearly anyone can hit an 11 second quarter mile. During my time at the track, there was a stiff headwind, and it took me four runs down the track, uh, down the strip, to go from 11.4 seconds to 10.98. Ford says the car can do it in 10.9, and I see little reason to doubt that time. Monster burnouts in a few. Okay, Mike, Mike, very, very quick. Mike, who wrote these? Who wrote this article? I'm PR saying. team. <laughs> no, no, I just want to know who. I just want to know who wrote the article. Oh, it's TechCrunch. Me, TechCrunch. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I've, yeah, I've heard, they, I've they, heard, they, I've they, heard they, this all over. Yeah, but I've heard, I heard the same sentiments all over YouTube from uh, Shmi One Hundred and Fifty to Matt Farah to a lot of guys. They've all said the same exact thing about it. So I don't. Especially with the cornering. Come on, man. Yeah, the cornering, the cornering. I, the corner. I, I don't believe it, Mike. Uh, I, I I, I've it. heard it. I've heard it from many people on YouTube, man. I, I'm not saying that. Hey, this Paul. Hey, Paul. What do you think, Paul? Paul, what do you think? I'm not buying it. You know, maybe one <laughs> lap, two laps, maybe. But a track day is just that. It's a day you want to stay out there and get consistent laps, consistent runs, consistent performance, consistent wear from from your tires. 
at 4,100 pounds. It is a pig. I do not see this thing being a good performer on a track day. One or two I would like to see this on a big run at Laguna Seca. The Bugatti run at Laguna Seca. The Bugatti Veyron weighed, what, 5,000 pounds? But at yeah. a track one lap and that thing was done because it's because it's a fucking hippopotamus i gotta see i gotta see it do a track day not one or two laps you know by someone writing an article well yeah. I, paul I, yeah. i've heard this i i've heard it from many of the top uh, uh car reviewers and they've all said the same thing um, the, the, the the gtr is heavy yeah it is but, but it's fast too it's fast as crap though they, they have- a lot of fast there's a lot of fast heavy cars yeah. I mean, there are a lot of fast, heavy cars. I mean, the track car is going to run on the track and get super live at 4,200 pounds. I just don't believe I, I, I'm not buying it. Dude, that's been around G- too long. Hey, I, I ain't buying you. it. The G- yeah, but 3,800 pounds. Smashing record. But Thai City, 3,700 3, pounds is not 4,200. And that's what the GTR weighs. And if you get the Nismo package, that comes all the way down to what, 33 or 3,400 pounds? Which is a whole lot far away from forty two hundred pounds. I tried to say, even, but yeah, you talking about eight hundred pounds? You talking about eight hundred pounds difference? That's huge. Absolutely, and even one hundred pounds completely changes the dynamics of a car. Eight hundred pounds difference? You talking about three BBWs up in there? <laughs> <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> what, what would that be? Uh, three neutral zones. Um, <laughs> that is definitely non-select. Yeah. Yeah. Shalom, everyone. Non- <laughs> that's non- that's Shalom, non- everyone. Yeah. Um, Joeline, that's non everything. No, hey, but, so, <laughs> why do you? Why, oh, but why do you think they all say the same thing, though? Because that's that's uh, everybody's impression. Um, I want to make sure we get to Super Triz. He got his hand up. Um, go ahead, Super Triz. Oh, that was early, but yeah, but I I, I think everybody has the same sentiment because of the limited time they've had with the vehicle. Like they're not having that car, uh, you know, 20, uh, 25 laps at a time to really see if it can consistently break without fade. Like there's no way a car that weighs that much is going to be able to like Carl Bryan say last an entire track day. I don't buy it. Like somebody's going to, what's going to happen is somebody's going to get that car and they think they're going to go to a track day. Mm-hmm. And the brakes are going to fade, and they're going to be wrapped around somebody else's car. That's, That's gonna right. Be the problem. And so here's my thing: like, let's just take it for what it is. This car is essentially a jack of all trades and a master of none. That's all it is. I don't know, Super Triz, man. I- I'm hearing it. I don't from have a, a problem with this car. Man. I- I'm hearing it from a lot of uh, YouTube um, enthusiasts, man. They got in the car and they walked away and said, "How did that car do that? That car is dope." For what it is, well, th- 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 but this is what I'm saying, right? Mm-hmm. Its performance is commensurate with this price. Well, I mean, the overall package. Mm-hmm. Obviously, you have to make some compromises mm-hmm. on the actual weight penalty. You make some compromises on the in- interior recruitments. Mm-hmm. You know, so so for what it for for what you're paying, uh, uh, um, you're essentially getting what you're paid for. Getting what you're paying for to a certain mm-hmm. extent is not exactly phenomenal, especially Except in this day and time interior. with all the amount of engineering. And that that's going through vehicles now. You can make an excellent vehicle nowadays. We've come a long way from an automotive standpoint. Mm-hmm. But the problem with this vehicle is, is that, yeah, you can do a lot of things with this car. You can have it as a daily driver. You can take the track for a couple mm-hmm. ra- uh, laps. You can take it to the drag strip. But you can always find a vehicle, a singular vehicle that can do each one of those tasks better. Mm-hmm. And they're and they're usually from Germany. Mm-hmm. Um, Paul Bryant, but, here, Paul Bryant, get out of here, Paul Bryant. <laughs> <laughs> but I will also give props to McLaren. I will definitely give props to McLaren. Mm-hmm. But also, you know what? Um, yeah, the McLarens are hot. They're, they're there's hot. another they're line from from this article that I really like to address really quick, which, which is? is the same thing I used to tell all the American guys who love the Charger and the Hellcat and the Red Eye, 
dude, 70 grand, 80 grand, 90 grand for cheap, hard plastics that fade, fake leather, fake oh, yeah. wood uh-huh. interior. I mean, dude, if, if I'm paying 70, I don't see 80, it. 90 grand Agreed. for the same interior from a freaking uh, Dodge Neon, nah, bro. Mm-mm-mm. Agreed. You mean, you mean Agreed. the Ford Focus? You mean the Ford Focus? <laughs> Uh, agreed. Yeah, agreed. Agreed. No way. If anything, leave the thing strip strip bare and have it look just like an interior of a race car. That's the case. Well, that's and what the, that's know, what the Ford GT does, there. though, right? The Ford GT does exactly that, right? But that's a race car. That was de- that was designed as right. a race car. They designed it from the ground up as a race car, and that's they right. and they put just enough in it to make it street legal. But that was designed. This right. as a, as a race car, so apples to oranges. That's right. Hey, hey, Moti, yeah, you got something right. you want to add to this? No, I, no, man, I no. Cause, I mean, you you do drive a BMW, if uh, if I recall correctly. Yeah. Oh, oh, well, you know, he he also worships at the uh, German altar as uh, as well. I mean, you know, I I spent three years over there, so it's I. Nothing to argue about, you know. Okay. If you want to come better, just come better. It, it's cool. Okay. <laughs> just I get the interior cool. right. <laughs> they should have made it a stripped down, straight, all out race car for that much, and it made the the carbon package standard. Mm-hmm. It's it's a lot, man, bro. The, Ford, the, just they should. Didn't... Yeah, they should have had a carbon fiber hood and trunk, acrylic windows. Yeah, yeah, I don't know if you can make the roof carbon fiber. You would have to cut the car. You, 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 you know what they should have done? You know what they should have did? I'm going to tell you what they should have done. Mm-hmm. What they should have done, they should have started with the Mustang COPO, the actual drag car. Okay. Because that car is already stripped down. Yeah. So they, 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 they already oh, have the a platform. Yeah. They already, yeah, yeah, they already Copo. have a platform for it. So what they should have done was start with that platform and then build that platform to be street legal and actually go around corners. That would have been your but, GT500. But do you know what it is? I see. I've seen it with Ford. Ford, they they make all the stuff for the aftermarket. The aftermarket brings in so much money for them. So that's why they don't do it. They want guys to come in and trick their cars out and go to the aftermarket and buy all their stuff for their cars on the aftermarket. That's another huge market. That's another huge market for them. That's exactly. That's another line of business for these guys. That's why they're not going to come out there and just drop and just drop the hammer like they could if if they wanted to. They don't want to drop the hammer. I mean. You know, Dodge had all the, you know, they could drop a hammer too, but then they decided, okay, let's drop the hammer once and, and see what we get. And they came up with, 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 with the demon. I mean, you know, I mean, this car got, you know, you know, this is a car you buy at a showroom with a tranny brake. I mean, so, I mean, with a trans brake. So, um, uh, you know, I'm just saying, you know, the, you know, uh, Ford can do it. They, they, they're just not because they're greedy. And I'm this is, th- this is for stubbornness for not having a straight head to head competitor with the Corvette. They got to do stuff like this. Maybe they're waiting on something. I mean, no, knowing Ford, I mean, they have all types of intelligence officers and, and, and yeah, they do. that they're watching, you absolutely. know, watching what GM absolutely. does. Absolutely. So they got to be they working on something. They know what's going on. They, well, I mean, maybe, they, they know what's going on. Maybe they're working on a knockoff version of the GT itself. Mm. Oh, also, you know, listen, um, someone said, why didn't they make the car with a carbon fiber, with a carbon fiber roof? To my knowledge, you can't you can't make a carbon fiber roof. So anything you make carbon fiber, you can't blend that into a different material. So you can make a carbon fiber hood, a carbon fiber trunk. Mm-hmm. But if you're talking body panels, that entire panel has to be one piece. So with today's auto- automotive tech, cars are either body on frame or monocoque chassis. So yeah, with, a mono- with a monocoque chassis, if the hood, if the roof is carbon fiber, then the monocoque chassis is all carbon fiber, and now you're now you're talking exotic, and now you're talking six figures easy. Mm-hmm. That's a that's a lot of money for that man. I, yeah, yeah, but I, those guys are not paying full price for those cars. They're they're getting rid of their old Mustangs and they're and they're dropping that right on there, so they're not paying full but price. Even for still, you know what? I have to agree with what 
Nagoma said, I can't see six figures for a Mustang. No way in the world. The nah, bro, not happening. Mustang? Man. No way. <clears throat> and it's coming off the same, and it's coming off the same line as the V6 uh Mustang. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, you go to you go to the dealership no, no, no. to you go to the dealership to get service and you're sitting next to a guy who drives a fiesta. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> he drives a V6, he drives a six cylinder. Nah, nah, that come off the same line. Nah, man. Nah, 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 nah. No, 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 no. You're sitting, you're sitting next to that guy who's driving that. What's that? What's that? Uh, that really, really small. It's like a, uh, like an, like a van that they use for people who work HVAC. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, oh, you, oh, you mean the transit. transit? You're talking about transit? Yeah, yeah. Before you sit next to somebody with a, with a, a transit <laughs> fleet uh, <laughs> uh, fleet card. He's trying to get uh, service on like four vehicles at the same time. <laughs> That's right. And you sit next to him. You sit next with your monster. Forget about it, man. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Yeah. I'm, out. I'm out. Though. I'm out. I'm out. Yeah. Let, let me let me knock out this last article for Super Triz, man. He he sent this one in. Um, this one is from carbuzz.com. Shelby GT500 could be next in line for a manual transmission swap. The folks over mm -hmm. at European Auto Group in San Antonio, Texas, are doing the world's work by swapping manual transmissions into cars that didn't come with them from the factory. EAG mostly focuses on swapping Ferrari models like the F430, <clears throat> but also built the world's only manual 430 Scuderia. The shop is currently building the world's first manual swap to uh, 2020 Toyota Supra, which will also receive an entirely new dashboard to go along with the new, its new transmission. Who is coming with all that noise? EAG owner Art Bostis, uh, uh, Bart Osik says the super project is wrapping up now and will be on display at this year's SEMA show. The transmission is already installed and the and EAG is now working on the programming. To show the progress of the car, EAG hosted a short video on its Instagram page showing the super running through the gears on its new manual transmission. Just ignore the BMW shifter for now, it's only temporary. The finished car will have an <laughs> optional concept shifter with a flip up button on the gear knob for activating sport mode. That's pretty slick. I don't know. This does look pretty good, dude. You know what? They already, they, uh, I don't know how old this article is, but they already sold a couple of them already. Yeah, I think Super Trips was just sending this in. This was uh, 11 hours ago, though. Yeah. Yeah, this, uh, this, this Mustang does look good, man. Well, see, I, I think I think the biggest the, the reason why I sent that article in is because throughout the article they talked about some of the other models that they that they've um, that they've done, and then some of the models that they have slated for mm -hmm. due to the actual demand. So the Mustang, mm -hmm. there's actually there's actually a big demand for manual transmission. There's already been several requests for a manual transmission swap, which makes it so appealing is the fact that this actual manual transmission swap comes with an available warranty of one, two, or three years. Uh, which is actually phenomenal for what it is. Um, it does come at a cost premium. I mean, you're looking at about twelve thousand dollars for a manual transmission what? swap. But yes, let me that again. Uh, that, uh, <laughs> twelve thousand dollars. Twelve thousand dollars transmission swap. Wait, 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 that automatically voids out your uh your factory warranty, right? Drivetrain warranty. Yeah. Drive so, so, so like you're would. telling me I'm paying an additional twelve thousand dollars to void out my factory warranty just so I can have this one. That your shit. No way in the world. Uh uh. Thank no. I'm good. I yeah, thought you, I, 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 pedals, I, I I thought you loved the third pedal, Paul. Yeah, but but bro, that's 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 why you buy a vehicle that already has one. Now, the only time that I would do something, yeah. do something like that would be Dynan, because Dynan is the only company that BMW honors the full factory warranty. They're the only aftermarket supplier that BMW has that arrangement with. What you're talking here is you're rolling, you're rolling the dice. You buy your vehicle, you get this um manual transmission swap, which costs you 12 Gs and it automatically Ooh. voids your factory warranty. Nah, no bro, nah, ain't no, happening. I mean, listen, you. 
that car looks hot. I mean, the car looks but, hot. This is it. No, nah, but it's, I it's, mean, it's 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 it's, 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 it's pretty as fuck. But 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 uh, I ain't I ain't really. I mean, the car looks nice. I mean, I mean, I ain't gonna lie. That that wide stance well, on the car sitting there. It's coming and, and with it's, a, and it's and it's lines on it. Car's hot. It's a hot hot, hot looking car for sure. It's got a dual clutch but, already. I wouldn't. I wouldn't go to a third pedal. Not necessarily for. It's not that crucial. But for the Supra, the Supra, the Supra was done with factory BMW parts. It's actually a BMW that ha- that comes with a manual that yeah. that pretty much everything bolts up to it. Yeah, but once yeah, you yeah. once you break the seal, once you break the seal on that Toyota, it's already finished. Yeah, yeah, yeah it is. But, but those cars but ran is, fucking hard. I, yo, Damn I am you. unwilling Damn to avoid my factory warranty. There's no way in the world. Once once it's out of warranty, that's a different ball game. But to willingly hey, oh, it's hey, a whole different because now everything is 10, no 12, 15 grand. Hey, yes. it's not, that's it's just, world. And that shit is gonna break. Hey, can I tell y'all something? Yes, sir. This car should only come blue with white stripes or white with blue stripes. I Shelby don't know what stripes? all this lime green stuff come. I, that's that, that's not a Cobra to me. Oh, that's not a Shelby to me. Because well, because they're trying to copy Porsche with the colors. The Porsche well, it, yeah. it, it, it's also the color. The rarer the color is, the more value it's going to have. Yeah, the more value it's going to have. Yeah, yeah. So they're going to give it a, 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 a unique color. I, did, I mean, the car's hot. The car's hot. I mean, I can't. I, I cannot sit here and lie and say it is. Man, this shit is definitely hot. There's no doubt about uh, nothing, it. A lot of hot cars out there. This is one. Nothing of them. says but, Shelby um, like. But I ain't going 100 G's for this. I ain't going 100 G's for this. Blue and white. Blue. That's it. No. 100 grand. No. 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 Bro, you know what? I'm going to keep it I'm gonna keep it even more real. Them carbon fiber wheels ugly. Oh, here he goes, man. <laughs> oh, come on. Yeah, you bugging, man. You bugging. You bugging. Yo, you bugging. Nah, man. Y'all, y'all just like them because they carbon fiber, bro. That design is what so crack- cheesy, bro. Yeah, man. Man, this, this, this dude. That design so- cheesy, man. Bro, that, you that, talking that, about y'all just like them because they carbon. You know what? You know what, yeah, man? He, he man, you know what? Cheesy, cheesy, man. man. You, oh, you, man, 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 you, you trolling us right now, fam. You trolling? Right. You trolling? Nah, right. I ain't trolling, man. Ty City, you are the guy with who yourself, goes man. down to Pet Boys <laughs> and buys freaking plastic, plastic snap-on hubcaps. Let's let's see, let's uh, see. uh let, let's pay. Let let's see. Go ahead, add the uh, eighteen thousand dollar carbon package that come with these. Uh, That's whack. I'm not doing it. The car is hot, but all that is just not just not happening. I mean, the car's hot. Yeah. It's a hot car. There it is. They go to packages. Oh, go to packages. No. It's a hot car. Car's hot. No way in the world. There it is. Eighteen five. Damn. Carbon fiber wheels. Damn. Twenty grand, Damn. Danny, for that. At the taxes, twenty G's. Nah, fam. I'll pass. Hey, y'all- do you all think that that wheel design is just crazy? <laughs> Come on, it's bro. nice. It's nice. It's no it's way. A classic design, bro. It's a classic yeah, it, design. It, yeah, if I had a mullet and a red neck, man, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I would. It wouldn't bother me not one bit, man. man. <laughs> mullet and a red neck. Oh, <laughs> My neck was red, man. And if get a shag. And if you took your sister <laughs> to the high school prom. <laughs> yeah, if my sister was my wife, I'd be okay with that. Man. Oh no! Oh no! Mother, oh, you didn't go there, did you? Oh no! Oh no! No, I, I, no I'm not. I, I, I'm not going, man. That 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 wheel, those wheel design. You pay eighteen thousand for your car to look like that, man. Oh, Ty City, you too picky, Ty man. City. Ty, 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 come on, man. Come on, man. Ty, 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 people who get the Ty, carbon hard. fiber, nah, people who pay eighteen thousand. For a carbon fiber package, we're not necessarily doing it for aesthetics. They're doing it for the performance. <laughs> well, what they believe to be a nah, performance bro, benefit. Hey, I'm not they sure. They gotta look good too. Sorry. No, but this, like is the same same guy, this is the same Black guy who coding. likes stance. He likes stance, offset wheels, oh, fat no, lace stickers. These, these wheels could have <laughs> some no, concave. Flag, flag the plane. These wheels could have been crazy. Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> these wheels could have been crazy. If you like, if you man, like the stanced man. wheel look, flag on the play, fifteen yard penalty, you're done. <laughs> if it had hey, a tow hook up front, he hey, wouldn't. Hey, a tow hey, hook in the it front. It was the Volkswagen oh, crowd man. that started that in Germany. And, and the Volkswagen no, no, crew no, no, started no, that in no, Germany. Wait, no, no, yes they did. The stance, yes they wait, did. Wait, wait, time out. This time out. Stance started stance in Germany. Comes from the Japan. Volkswagen. No, it did not. No, you're yes, wrong. Yes, it, it did. Started in Japan, bro. No, sir. Bro, 
the stance look with, Bro, with those. The Volkswagen look. crowd got the stance movement popping. No, nobody they did was not. splitting that wheels from Japan. All the PBSs and stuff like that. That came from that came from no, the Volkswagen different, crowd. No, 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 no. Listen, we're talking two different things here. What you're talking are offset wheels. Stance. No, I'm talking from about Japan. slam. Slams Slam. to the ground with those with with that crazy insane camber on all four wheels. That nah, is that's Japan, hard. Japan nah, on, only. I that's Japan. I, I, I give you that, but I, I'm talking about the crazy dump look with the deep dish wheels that came straight out of Germany. Yeah, but that's not st- <sighs> all those you know bull rabbits. The rabbits Flag was doing play. it. Another the GT penalty. Flag on the play. Come on. Hey man, I would. I, I would <laughs> send back that one. I wouldn't penalize them that much. We're penalizing you, if anything. Yeah. <laughs> bro, if you no, like no, this, bro, that's like a plastic dip Koenig, bro. That oh, is a cheap-looking design, dog. All right, Mike, look at this interior. $103,000 for this interior? Are I'm sorry, kidding? I can't do it. Are you kidding me? Look at this interior. <laughs> can't do it. Dude, hey, can't, do it, it, hey, can't do it, man. Can't do it. Hey, check this out. Check this can't out. do it. I had a Mustang in 2003. I mean, 2013. The interior looks exactly the same as my Mustang in 2013. Dude. Come on, man. Oh, can Come I, on, hey, hey, I got to do better. Hey, hey, looks better than hey, this. I'm going to keep it more real than that. If you look inside the four trucks, they look like that. Thank you. Case case closed. Maybe they should have came out with a Ford F-150 Lightning. <laughs> Merlin just put that in. Yeah, those cars, yeah, those trucks were pretty fast back in the day. They but but I'm just thinking, it's like coming off the same line as a V6 Mustang, bro. <laughs> no, I don't think this oh, one is. Second. I don't think this wait, one wait, is. Wait, I don't wait, think wait, this I, one I, is. I think it is, family. They, no, they man. I think, I, think, I think this is coming from a different factory. I, I think it is. In fact, I'm willing to bet a little something on that. You can't you can't be saying that after what I said about the Camaro they tried to they tried to uh, get off a couple of weeks ago. What was no, that? no, 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 that's what different, happened? man. That's different, man. Um, I, Jay Leno, I, missed, I missed that one. No, you, 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 Nagon wasn't there for that. But um, the Jay Leno interview that I, I watched the other day, I think they they say, and I'm I could be wrong about this. They did say the designer of this said that um, that, you know, this is built separately. So I don't I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I think, it's, material, bro. I think it's come up the same lines V it's come up the same lines V6, man. I don't know, man. I don't know. Three thousand dollars for this interior. I'm looking at nothing but hard fake plastic that's gonna that's shine, nice. reflect light. It is gonna dull, it's gonna crack. No leather, no carbon fiber, no soft <laughs> materials. No oh, traps, man. no delts. No, no traps, no rod board. <laughs> right. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, 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 Paul Bryant. Right. Paul Bryant. Paul Bryant. Bryant. Paul Bryant. Maybe, maybe Mustang is going for the quote unquote piano black trim look that all these uh, upper end, upper echelon car manufacturers are going for. Total fail. Absolutely. Total fail. fail. Okay. Total man, fail. I think for this car, they could have had, they could have had no options. Competition seats and oh god, just I don't know the interior in that man. I'm a, I'm a stuck calling this bad boy an icy hot stunner, bro. I'm serious, man. For real. Wait, but that's wait, who drives wait. it too. Wait, yeah, the icy hot stunners. You know, you know they're driving this shit. You know that. Wait, Mike, Mike. Let's see if we can zoom in on some carbon fiber. Hold on, time out, Mike. Spin back around to to the pass to the passenger side seat for yeah, one yeah, quick yeah, second, yeah. please. Now. This looks like a Sparco seat, or this looks like a Recaro seat. From it's a Recaro. It, it's a Recaro, right? A baseline Recaro. So now, this is 2019, a 2020 model. They now have Recaro seats. They've the always base, had Recaros. I mean, yeah, they've Recaro. been having Recaros. They've yeah, always they had Recaros. Yeah, they, 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 they have Recaros in there. Okay. Yeah, the 5-0 had Recaro. I stand, correct. I stand I corrected. Yeah, but unfortunately, this is the heaviest Recaro that Recaro makes. Look how thick that's that's the heavy Recaro. Yeah. It, 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 in fact, you know something? I was watching the Punisher before, and he was in a GT. Uh, no, no, he was in the um. He was in a charger, uh, wasn't he? No, 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 no. He no, was no, running no. some girl down, and he had he was in a it was a GR one I think, and they had the Recaros in it. it Mike, we got to do a sunroof check. Mike, got to do a sunroof check, bro. No, there's no sunroof for these. No sunroof. 
No. Automatic uh, fail. <laughs> Automatic fail. <clears throat> oh, okay, but now, but let's, okay, but hold on. But, the, but think about this from this perspective. Like, if you're actual a track focused car, you don't want a sunroof. Yeah, yeah that's well, a fact. If, it, yeah, if it's, if it's a daily driver, you want a sunroof. Well, no, but the, but but they're marketing it as a track car. This is supposed to be the zero to one hundred to one to, to zero. <laughs> yeah, like I'm saying I'm not buying any of that. It's a marketing ploy. <laughs> you got a, a seven inch That's infotainment so screen. Well, you need it. You need the infotainment screen to get all of the. Um, yeah, but it's seven yeah. inches, Mike. It's seven inches in 2020. Are you kidding Tesla me? 17. <laughs> how, how big should it be? How big should it be? Like it should be at least, 17. For, okay, for no, no, not that big, but for a hundred thousand dollars in 2020, I would expect an infotainment screen of 10 inches. Well, you you acting for like a mandingo or something like that. It's a Mustang, <laughs> <laughs> that's a, that's a Mustang we talking about, man. Pause, 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 pause. pause. <laughs> it looked like it's carbon fiber all throughout. Hey, the I, I ain't gonna lie, that sounded crazy, Mike. I shouldn't have said that. My bad. Yeah. <laughs> that's why I'm like, why are y'all talking hey, about seven inches? Judge. Like, are you kidding me? Like, that's <laughs> hey, the, the hey, we, don't, screen. We, we don't judge tree. We we not judge you, tree. Nah, man. No, nah, <laughs> the screen, the screen is there for the um all of the metrics and stuff that it collects and it's displayed on the screen. So that's more than enough for oh, what it's supposed to be. Look at the interior. Dude, look at those huge, ugly, round vents, the dials. What is that, fake? Uh, oh, fake come foam? on, Paul. All right, Paul, come man. On, man. Yeah. And look at those buttons. Look at the switch gear. Shiny chrome everywhere. And the steering wheel. Dude, who designed this, this interior? No, the, the, the interior, the interior sucker leg. Yeah. But you know, you gonna pay all the rest for this? I, I, I can't see it, fam. I, I, I can't see it. Can't see it. Sorry, boy. Hey, they dropped the ball. I go lie. They dropped the ball. They dropped the ball. They dropped the ball. It feels a gutted out. Like I would have respected it more if it was just gutted out. Well, I you know, it seems like they this was a last ditch effort. You know, um, yeah. But Mike, like even if okay, okay, we understand that they're using the the, the base Mustang platform, so. The, to redesign a whole dash just for this one model that's going to sell in limited volumes doesn't make a lot of sense. They should have they called. Have, they could have. They, they, they should have called Singer and said, "Help us out." Hey, or they could have. Or, or, or they could have just pull wrapped up the, the interior entire of dash. the Ford GT, Mike. Excuse me. Can you pull up the interior of the Ford GT? Yeah, let's go back to that. Hey, they, how they, much they, they could. They, they could. They could. They could. They could have wrapped the entire dash. With Alcantara or leather, though that's that's what for that price at the bare minimum, there shouldn't have been any hard plastic touch services anywhere in that car. Facts. No, but how much? Mean, how, how much would you pay for that? Though? Oh God, it gets even even worse. Look at this. Look at this. Boy, that's a, it's, that's it's the same important. interior for twenty eight grand. Come on, man. Ty City. It's yeah, highly sucker late, dude. And y'all can play highly sucking better, better than this, bro. <laughs> Look at that highly screen on that one. Late, <laughs> wow. Hey, hey, you need you need an elect you need hey, an electron microscope. You need an electron microscope to see that screen. BMW already that size. You need an EM scanner. You need an EM scanner for that. You you need an electron microscope to see that screen. Look at that. It's looking a little flaccid there, a little flaccid. What? What? Oh, look at hey, hey, it's, hey, hey. it's, it's looking highly sucker laid, fam. Hey, you know, that screen, you know what that I, screen? You know what that screen look? That screen, no, that screen, screen looks like a, right here. That screen looked like an Apple iWatch. Bro, <laughs> hey, <guys. laughs> Bro. That, but is that, that black screen. and white? Is that even color? Dog, is that carbon fiber? That screen looks like looks like the screen from a 1995 SL Benz. No, it looks like it came from the Game Gear. Sega, Sega must have made this screen. Wow. <laughs> Sega, oh damn, my man going to Sega. Oh damn, yo, 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 boy. I thought, I thought, I thought Sonic the Hedgehog, man. I thought Sonic the Hedgehog was gonna come out of here, man. <laughs> First that don't look like the iPad. Phone buttons. That's the BMW iPad. phone button. That's the iPod. Oh. First generation. That's the whole BMW <laughs> phone buttons. But you know, you, know man. So, <laughs> you, you so, see, the Americans have no excuse 
uh, you know, it's made here. It's not like they imported it from Germany and then had to cut down on costs. I mean, th- this is made here. Why is it? Why? What? Why is, it, why is it highly sucker laid like this? This is some bullshit. And they're asking for and they're asking for a hundred frogs and they're asking for a hundred frogs on this? Forget about it, man. You you gotta be kidding me, fam. Got to be kidding me. Come Sorry, on, man. Nah, Paul, Paul, there I'm is no way in the world. There is no way in the world any person who's shopping a Porsche 911 is cross shopping that. There's no way in the world. <laughs> not going down. Now, now nah, like I said, man, when, you, when, you, when your neck is red, man, and, and, you, and, you, and your mother mother gets the popping off, man. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, your, your, your mullet is crunk. It's crunk. You get, get crunk with the mullet. Oh, yo, man, this is, I, I mean, like right, Mike, Mike. with the turned up Air Force Ones. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, can, so, man, can we see the interior of the Ford GT? The street, the the street version. I think we just looked at that. GT. No, 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 not the Mustang, the actual GT. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's look at that. Let's look at that. Because they don't call it the GT forty <coughs> anymore. Yeah, there we go. Forty GT. Yeah. Oh, that yeah. thing is so nasty. No price on that motherfucker. It's not it's even six, available. It's six hundred thousand. Damn. <laughs> Approximately. Crazy. For no, what, I mean the base, the base, you no, know, the, the the base configure. <clears throat> its configuration is six hundred. <clears throat> for for this, I, what? Well, I it, can't even well, read it. Now remember, I this is a race car. This was designed and built as a race car. They just put enough enough extra stuff on yeah, it. And it's limited to make volume to make too. it street legal. But this was designed as a race car. What you're looking at here, this is the street version. The, the basically the streetified version of a purpose built race car. This car was not built for the street, but they put enough <coughs> extras into it to make it street legal. So now, to go back to Thai City's point of giving <coughs> us a base interior, Ford knows how to give us a base interior. This is a race car. This was designed and built as a race car. They've put a little extra nice interior just to make this car street legal. And this is better than what they want for that hundred thousand dollar Ford Mustang. That's the point that I was trying to make by looking at this interior. Yeah, this is um, this is hypercar territory. So, literally, um, yeah, yes, yeah, it's, it's hypercar territory. So it's a little bit different. Um, you you know what I was, you know what I like about these kind of interiors? I like the turn knob. That means like everything is intentional. Like you know what I'm saying? Like oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, it's it's a race car. I mean, you can't even even driving this thing on the street. It's so hard and so stiff. Everyone who's driven it, they've said, well, you got to understand. They were in order to race at Le Mans, they had to build a street going version to meet the um, the regulations, the rules. That's the only reason this version exists. This is the street version. Well, it, Shmi, Shmi drove it around um, New York and L.A., man, in Miami. Right. And he um, he didn't see well. He didn't seem to have too much of a problem with it. Um, he does. He did say you have to get out every every uh, couple uh, every hour or so to kind of stretch. But hello, that's, that's, that mean that's the nature, <laughs> yeah. of it, right? Unless you're really dressed up for it, you can't just uh, get in there with some uh, baggy jeans or anything like that, man. Uh, I think you really have to be dressed for it. Whatever happened with Buddy who sold his and got in trouble with Ford? I don't know. Oh, that was John Cena, the wrestler. John Cena, yes. Yeah, I, don't, I never. I don't, I don't know what happened with that. I think I know Ford. Didn't Ford sue him? I believe they did. Yeah, why, would, they did. why would Ford sue him? Four hundred thousand. Because because I, I think what like what he, did he auction or sell it or something like that? Something that he, it, it violated the contract that he had. He he, he, well, he was car. not he, exactly. He was not supposed to sell the car. In fact, it was like it was. It was kind of like he had partnered up with him to drive that car around, and um, he wasn't supposed. He wasn't supposed to play that. Play that game. Oh gotcha. Okay. He, he 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 was a big marketing. He was a big marketing tool for that vehicle. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So you know, you know, you know how they attach your names and stuff to. to all that. Shit, twelve hundred grand. I'm break. I I, I would have broke the contract too. Yeah, well, they were they were trying to break his ass for that, so they were like, "Can't do that, fam. <laughs> Can't do that." 
So. Well, we- we may have to have some kind of partial ownership in the car or something. That, uh, well, um, you know what? Well, they contractually since, sold it to him. Since we're here, Mike, and we're talking about car interiors, does anyone want to take a look at the Mercedes-Benz S550 in interior to show you what a, to what an interior should look like for a hundred thousand oh, that, dollars? That's, that's going to be high end, fam. That's going to that's going to be high end, brother. <laughs> That's what we're talking about. We know that's gonna be high end. We 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 know, we know how that's going down. Look at Mike. Look at Mike. Mike ain't shit. Look at Mike. <laughs> Yo, Mike wasted no time oh, going to man, the. Man. Mike wasted no. I see. You got to do better than that, son. You got to do better than that. Yeah, no, no, it, it, it's it's cool. you know, you know, they coming in highly butter laid, man. Come on, you know, we know what's up. But I'm saying, if you're gonna spend that kind of bread, that's how that's how it should be looking. So, you know, you know, dog, <laughs> sucker lay. Oh yeah, sucker lay. <laughs> um, I've seen a lot of hard fake plastic. Fake, Yo, but you know what? Materials. They they got the chrome trim going. They I, I, they fake, they better than four right gold. now. Well, they're using aluminum foil, that's why, but, you know. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> aluminum foil. <laughs> I, mean, we can, I mean, we can look at a comparable, I mean, what do these demons go for, 100,000, 80,000, something like that, 80 racks? So we well, what, at, the Dodge Demon? Yeah. The Dodge Demon's supposed to be uh, all together, I think it's, uh, what, 70, 70,000? Yeah, but, you know they they were getting above they were, they were getting above sticker form just because of the uh, of the demand on the car. So you know how that goes. Because of the suckers. You know. <laughs> Cause of the suckers. Wow. I mean, I mean, listen, the Dodge Demon. It is a ten second car. I mean, it's a ten yeah. second. It's a ten it second quarter mile. For what? Uh, say that again. For what the car? For what the car does, it is impressive, and I have yeah. nothing bad to say about the Demon for what it does. I can't yeah. knock it at all. Yeah, oh, I mean, straight, I mean, straight, like straight off, engine. straight off, straight engine. off the, the showroom floor. They sell an engine, just like Jim. Yeah, they sell an engine. I mean, you know, look at that car, so nasty. No, but they're going back to the old days, the old days back in the sixties, oh. back in the sixties. Now we're talking. from the showroom. Now we are talking. Well, not, not, see, not, see, now we got Paul Bryant over here orgasming on the other line. Oh. <laughs> nah, that's just hard right there. Jesus Christ. I am gay. <laughs> we're going to get, we're gonna have to get Paul Bryant a, a bib to catch all this drool coming out of his mouth. Look damn, at that. Boy, it, it, that damn boy, you, you, you need a cigarette after this? Yeah, man. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I shot my load. No, no, he did a cigarette. Paul <laughs> Bryant needed a cigarette. Hey, 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 Paul, 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 Paul Bryant needed a cigarette and a wet rag after this. He gone. Hey, no, and, and a hot rag? No, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't need a hot rag. Hey, hey, that's that bitch right there, bro. I don't know about that rag, but a seagull for sure. But a seagull? <laughs> a Monte Cristo number two torpedo, my daily smart. There we go, <laughs> man. man. I, mean, I, I, I kind of like the Nat Sherman's, man. That's what I wrote. Mm, well, you anyway. know, you know, you know, Ty City like the black and mild. <laughs> <laughs> El Producto Blunt. <laughs> <laughs> Virginia Slim. <laughs> yeah, they, they, they Virginia that, Slim. That, 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 <laughs> <laughs> he said Virginia Slim. Virginia Slim. Ty City, you smoking smoke Virginia Slims? The <laughs> in black and mild. <laughs> where, where, where's Dr. Phoenix at, man? Dr. Phoenix, we gotta get you up here, man. Where you at, man? Man, man, where the Surgeon General, man? Bring him up here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, be, hey, be Mike, BSA, say, hey, hey, Mike, when well, you get a check, what you... go, go ahead, brother. Go ahead. No, I was gonna say when you, when you get a chance, go ahead and pull up the uh, best American made car that tests my interior. Okay, <laughs> I'll do that <laughs> in February. <laughs> hey, go ahead. Hey, go, go ahead and show us that screen. Oh, no. hey, 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 show us that screen. <laughs> no, that's man. all you got to say is the screen. Oh, that's cool. Hey, man. No, I mean, I, I had I had the opportunity to get in this and test drive it, man. I, I can't ra- I can't stop raving about it. I like it, man, but I, I can't. It's out of my budget, man. Um, by by at least uh nine hundred or so. It's a little pricey. Yeah, it how is. Much, how but, much is it? Uh, this is the GTR Coupe. Um, there's a Black Series coming out too. But um, wow, 
Yeah, there's a Black okay. Series coming out. Uh, but this is the this is the top of the line. This is uh, 170. This is a true. Man. This is a true race car. This is the race. Listen, Mike, yeah, race car. Mike, Mike, it's, a lot, Mike a lot of it's in your budget. All you gotta do is eat top ramen for the next for the next year or so, next wow. two years. Uh, nah, if, nah, if I, 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 all you gotta do is open, all you gotta do is open up the super chats. <laughs> <laughs> if I if I if I if I, was, if I was a goat, I'd be I have to eat you, I have to eat hey, Cuban pussy. Hey, 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 Mike. Hey, Mike. hey Mike, hey Mike, hey thank you for the two dollars. <laughs> Patreon, because if you don't, you're not black. <laughs> yo, yo, you go subscribe to his Patreon and just tell you how much more he got to get to get the car. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right. Uh, uh, Mike, make sure you hit that stream lab. Select. You got to <laughs> Mike's Patreon. No, Mike, get, get, Mike, get what did you do to this car? That cash app up in that piece. What did I do to it? <laughs> yeah, man, you don't put the, look, you don't put the, uh, th them rims is from 2002. No, those are the racing rims, man. Those yeah, are the, 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 the color, the, the with the chrome lip. That's two thousand two. Get that out of here. No, nah, man, that's Mercedes, man. That's the these are the actual wheels that everybody selects. You know, yeah. these cars. Yeah, that's two thousand and two. That's what they was doing back in California, two thousand two. If I remember correctly, these might be made of magnesium. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah I think they might be magnesium. Uh, wow, magnesium <laughs> weighs nothing, and it yeah. it feels like plastic and weighs nothing. Yeah, if I remember on the Black Series, it comes with magnesium wheels. So magnesium is insane, bro. I just, the dude I know he has a Porsche green, 944, and he has and, and he has the, he has magnesium on his car. Man, mm -hmm. listen, you would yeah. think you, you would think it's plastic. Yeah, I think magnesium is actually sixty percent lighter than um, aluminum. Yes, sir. Yeah, I believe yes, it is. Sir. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Dude, it weighs nothing. That's what I've heard. Like plastic. Yeah, I saw. I saw um, Mr. AMG um, Rez on on YouTube. Um, he right, has a right. um, he has a GTR Pro, and he lifted it up with his pinky. Yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah it's, it's light. It's light. Yo, know, it's it's silly, dude. You will laugh. You literally laugh when you pick up things made of mag magnesium because it's so light. Yeah. yeah, those those wheels those wheels are at least fifteen to twenty grand to, just by themselves. So yeah, yeah, that's, 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 that's a lot for the wheels. That's that's a lot. A lot. That's a lot. That's a lot of wheels. Cars hot. Yeah, hot. They're like that a lot of night. Nice. Cars hot. What are you saying, Ty City? Hey, that that motherfucker's stupid right there. Yeah. You you, you, you yeah. getting the uh you getting the light up uh, implement in front or what? Yeah, I think it comes with it by by default. You gotta have it. You gotta have it. Oh yeah. I know Paul don't like it, but you gotta have it. <laughs> oh, chill, bro. Open up the super chat, man. <laughs> AMG, bro. <laughs> the AMG for I'd have, I'd have to beef with everybody in the man's fit in order to. Oh, uh, man. Like that. Oh, no, bro, <laughs> the beef with everybody. I'd be beef with Lionel. Lionel would be like, what the hell are you fucking with me for? I ain't doing it to you. <laughs> hey, well, hey, hey, do you see those numbers? <laughs> do you see those numbers? Do, hold on. Does everybody see those numbers? 2.40 to 60 with a 373 mile range. That's crazy. That's crazy. I mean, the car bought a lady, no doubt. Buck 70, Buck 70 stickers. No one's worthy. I'm not worthy. Johnny Blaze, where you at? No I know Johnny worthy. Blaze got one. I'm here, man. Listen. It's tight. Listen. That's your boo right there. No one's yes, worthy. Yes, sir. You can't, you can't doubt it. I never will. Mm -mm. Car is hot. It's a zero to 60 is crazy. The drag. The, what it does at the drag strip, it's okay. full electric. There's no denying it, no argument. It was, it was, it was it doesn't, doesn't make any sound when it takes off. No, they, no, no, it's straight quiet. Have any of you guys ever been inside one? Yeah, my co worker has one. Yeah. Okay, uh, go for a test what? drive. Trust me. Yeah, it's a <laughs> different experience, hey, hey. man. It's really, really eerie. Let's mm. keep it above. Let, let's keep it above. It, it can't do that performance consistently, it's not supposed to. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. All yeah. right. All right. <laughs> what? All right. 
It's not a race car. You keep it's not a race car. Race car. Oh, but right. I mean, but I tell you what, though, no, you know what? In, in mine, I mean, I, I have a ninety D, and I'm pretty quick, even on on, on the highway, on the streets, and you know. If you if you put um some pilots <clears throat> cup twos on it or some trofeos on it with some um hyperforge wheels, uh, I I can tell you right now that's a different monster altogether. Different animal. Yeah, because the standard wheels are heavy. So, say that again, yeah. Tati. You'll probably break something. What do you mean, you break something? From the torque and with the traction, you'll probably break something. There's nothing to break, Ty. It doesn't have. It doesn't. No, have talking about the wheels themselves. Talk about the wheels themselves. Okay. Like you apply all that torque to those wheels because it's it's the, it's instantaneous torque. Yeah, but with that uh, electric. Yeah. Yeah, but it's but doing it's, it with the factory setup. So if it's doing it with the factory setup at that point, it's it's exactly. gonna be doable with everything else. Yeah, facts, facts. No, nah, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, click that performance. We don't want the long range, you want performance. <laughs> Look at that interior. That interior is so nasty. Yeah, it could, it that's, clean. that's clean. That's clean. That's clean. And plus, yeah. on top of yeah. that, it's on magic. top of that, you can watch Fast and Furious on the on the screen in the middle, too. That middle <laughs> oh, screen, you can watch no. whatever you want to watch. Hey, 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 Let me tell you, the Fast and the Furious play is sold out. A play? Yeah, it's a play now. What? <laughs> what? Yeah. What? What? Yeah. Matt Farrell what? was, was uh, Matt Farrell was interviewing the uh the playwright who wrote it. Yeah, I think oh, I think it's gonna be like Mark Marco Polo. You know. It's gonna be like a musical play where they're actually singing and stuff and jumping around and doing. I don't know. I didn't, I, didn't know. I know it's a play. Wow. I think I think they're gonna have uh, Janelle Monae in it, um, playing and as Lizzo. Harry Tubman. And, and, and Lizzo, they're gonna have Lizzo <laughs> over there. Lizzo, 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 Lizzo gonna be in there with in her birthday suit. Who? Janelle. Hey, 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 hey. Who the hell is Lizzo? This that this big this big singer that everybody's talking about. She's like plus size or whatever, and everybody's oh, ranting oh, and raving over. Her. Yeah, well, uh, I don't they know. They don't have Tyler no, Perry in that no motherfucker. <laughs> 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 hey, what car t- Tyler Perry driving? What Tyler Perry driving? Uh, no, no, t- 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 Tyler Perry. Tyler, Tyler Perry is driving a a, a Mini Cooper. As Medea, as Medea. Wow. <laughs> I'm going Gun and everything. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not. You know, that's the thing about the Tesla, man. Um, I don't know if y'all have, y'all have ever watched a documentary on uh, DW, but um, Germany. Uh, but they talk about how much they've cut quality on on the interior in order on the whole car, but the interior especially made it sparse. <laughs> So that it's cheap enough to produce. Um, so, you know, I'm not surprised at the way it looks. Well, they've been running at a deficit. Well, yeah, they. I think that's inevitable for any car startup, right? Even Fisker. Uh, we didn't even get to that article, man. Let me get to that article. Well, the little Fisker. Oh, well, no, Fisker. I think about Fisker. Every time you say how cheap it got sold, man. I just oh, yeah, but, in position to but, 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 but but what Fisker has planned now with this SUV, this could be exactly what they need to actually start making a profit. But you know, there, you there goes right there. Keep, you also have yeah. to keep keep in mind one one thing: Tesla is not a car company. Tesla is a tech company that happened to make an all electric car. Make, make a car, yeah, yeah. correct. Yeah, uh, that, 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 a that's a fact. That is also okay, check now, out. Here, um, check out Rivian. Yeah, we have Rip, but Rivian is more expensive though. Rivian is kind of kind of high priced. But my, my question is, yeah. okay, now now I'm curious, can Fisker actually pull off this car at under 40k? That's the big question. Wait, wait, wait. They this have is right business, here. They have wow. this business partners. Now I'm gonna tell you if this they, vehicle if, right here if they can pull it off Fiskers. under 40k, it's Rivians. If they put if they can pull it off under 40k, they got a winner. Right. Rivian. They got a mad winner there. No, is this is not Rivian's vehicle. No, like, I don't think. I don't think. I don't think they could do it, Nagon. I don't think. Probably right, right but I'm saying if, if, if they can, I'm saying if they can, you're probably right. They can, but but if they can, they they got a winner. Oh, that, 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 that's price to move. That's price to move. 
damn, 40K. Shit, I think about that. I'd be like, oh, I'm so like, get one of them. No, 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 40K. <laughs> no, 40K to go. You better be asking, okay, what's going to break first? The door? Is, is the steering wheel going to come off while I'm driving? Oh, come Listen, on. I'll just have that as a secondary. I'll have that as a secondary ride, man. I just, that'll just be another giant. Let, let me let me read this article. Let me let me read this real quick. Um, all right, this one is from Engadget.com. Earlier this year, Fisker revealed that its plans to release a relatively affordable electric SUV in 2021. Now, the automaker has revealed that the vehicle will be called the. Oh, oh hey, what's going on, bro? <laughs> I thought I was muted. My Fisker Ocean. <laughs> Fisker will, Fisker will forego building a show car. <laughs> will they view? They're going to have to mute yourself, man. I'm going to time you out, man. <laughs> time you out, man. And will debut what it says is fully, <laughs> fully redundant. <laughs> Fuck your Paul Ryan, man. Damn, man. <laughs> It wasn't my fault, bro. Damn, man. <laughs> All right, let me, let me, let me, try, let me start from now. <clears throat> a fully run-in production intent prototype, uh, prototype sitting on the actual completely engineered platform on January 4th, 2020. It will be a private event, but the company promises to put a live stream up that everyone can watch. The Ocean will have a full-length solar roof to help boost the vehicle's uh, range. The Fisker, and Fisker believes it will provide up to 1,000 extra clean miles a year. It will also use uh, carpeting made from an abandoned fishing net waste pulled from oceans, as well as vegan materials for, for the interior. Why is it doing all that? <laughs> vegan materials? Yeah, veganator. Before the vehicle itself debuts, Fisker will launch its mobile app first. You can use the app, which will be available on November 27th, to lease the vehicle with no long-term contracts. Fisker will take early uh, reservations and reveal more details about the vehicle, including its pricing, on the same day. It's previously said that the SUV will cost less than $40,000, though, making it one the the relatively – should it be one of – one of the relatively affordable electric vehicles you can buy. The company also said that Ocean's target range is approximately 250 to 300 miles, and that it may and that it may come with an 80 kilowatt an hour lithium ion battery pack. The vehicle is scheduled to go into production by the end of 2020, with the first high volume deliveries slated to happen sometime in 2022. I don't know, man. Um, Johnny Blaze, you said this is not Fiskars, but who who whose is it then? Well, partially. There was a company that came out about two, three years ago who was going to uh, compete against Tesla, but they ended up going out of business. This thing, it looks a, a, a hell of a lot like that vehicle. Okay. Um, they, I forgot what they're called, but the uh, the head of the company, he just filed for bankruptcy out of uh, some guy in China. Well, the issue is, is that Fisker was bought out by a Chinese company. So I think this is the reason why we're seeing this price point sub 40,000 is because of Chinese involvement. But here's the problem. No, I think um, I got so it, to it, 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 anybody, anybody that's bore witness to Chinese engineering when it comes to elevators and escalators will be very wary of a car that's sub $40,000 on the road, especially on the freeway. Like, hey, Tim, I don't I know. Think, I- I think they got sold to an Indian company. Well, I will say Tata, this. Uh, Tata, Tata. Tata, 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 Tata is Indian. Tata. Tata, Tata is Indian, but it's also Chinese owned too. Chi- the Chinese owned Tata. Really? Oh, he okay. sold his company? No, just just the uh, vehicle, just the uh, vehicles division. So that means so Tata, that... Tata is like, uh, you know, right. um, I know, just the umbrella company. Right. So that means that Range Rover and um, Aston are now owned by a Chinese company? It could be Chinese people right behind it. Wow. That's big. Oh. Well, oh, let me yeah. ask you this. Mm-hmm. Now, the actual roof solar panel, that's probably what we'll say maybe three feet by maybe five, uh, maybe by four, maybe a three feet by four feet or maybe three feet by four and a half feet mm-hmm. of solar panels. Like how much is that much? How much is solar panels for that? Just the solar panels alone, probably about three thousand uh, dollars. that depends, man. Um, 
solar panels kind of low low maintenance, right? Well, if you if, if you take that into consideration, man, a hailstorm would knock that thing right out, and that'll cost you a, a grip. Um, I don't know. It, it, that, that's going to be very risky. I mean, it, unless it, they cover it in a uh, polycarbonate, mic, right? Then yeah, they can get away totally, with that. Totally removes that risk. Yeah. Hey, hey that cup out t- is called Faraday Future. Yeah, yeah, Faraday Future. Yep. Interesting name. Okay. Mm-hmm. I remember that. Uh, uh, Ulysses actually brought that up, man. Um, last year when we was on here. <clears throat> He's been a big proponent of that company. I will say, I will say this though. Um, I think it was either Mike, it might have been you, Mike, or it might have been Complex who sent me a video, and I've looked at it, and I've actually it actually sparked some research on my part. Mm-hmm. So, the Chinese have actually been leading the R and D for electric vehicles for about two years now. Mm-hmm. And the Germans are actually now playing catch up for full electric vehicles. So mm-hmm. uh, obviously we have the Porsche Taycan, but um, Mercedes, uh, Porsche, BMW, and Audi, they're all now, well, the, the entire Volkswagen group, they're all now make, making a full a full court press towards mm-hmm. full electric vehicles. Mm-hmm. Well, and, and, and that wouldn't, probably wouldn't have happened as fast if it wasn't for diesel gig. <laughs> Good point. Good point. Yeah, I mean, Diesel Gate probably came at the right time, but it, it cost them a good grip too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They they um, they're still they're still re, still recovering from that from a uh, PR standpoint. Now let's compare this to the Mustang. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this, this only coming two colors. What happened? It's only available in two colors. I think that's just the launch edition. I don't. I don't know. Uh... Thai city, even in all black, this is blowing that Mustang interior out of the water, bro. Come on. Oh no, 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 no! I'm talking about the car. The, the car only had two colors. This interior is hot. Yeah, I, no, I, would, I, I would. I would say it's uh, leaps and bounds better than the um, the Mustang GT500, but. Um... This one going for seventy. This motherfucker got five hundred foot pounds of torque, man. That's that's mean. Mm-hmm. So Jaguar did so. This and the Fisker probably coming out of the same or out of the same factory. Up. I don't know if it's the same factory. Yeah, um, I don't think so. As far as I know, Jags are still Jags are still built in England. Yeah, They're owned. By Tata, but now you're now you're telling me that the automotive group was sold to Chinese, but the R and D and the manufacturing is still done in England. Yeah, nothing's changed on the on the manufacturing side. On the manufacturing <clears throat> side, it's just the, who who controls it now. <clears throat> Not gonna lie, the steering wheel looks like very Mustang like. Oh <laughs> man, here they, oh, here he goes. Here. Uh, <laughs> man, saying, why you why, why, why? <laughs> not, you know what though? Hey, no, 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 Ty Mustang City, like, like. <laughs> no, Ty City is right. That hey. looks like a Mustang steering wheel. No, it actually came out the Range Rover. It, it's but it looked like a Mustang steering wheel. Four derivatives, four derivatives. Wow. Well, there's yeah. a lot of parts bidding going on, man. You know, you know how that goes, man. Um, yeah, but you know what though? You know what though? Um, I have I have to agree with Ty City on the one thing, four derivatives, because if you look at the head designer for Aston, for Aston Martin, he designed the current look of Jaguars and Aston Martins um, right before Ford sold both companies to Tata. But now he stayed with Ford after the company left. But the interesting thing is, if you look even now, Aston Martins, Jaguars, and certain Ford vehicles, they still share basic common designs even now. If you look Yo, at a lot, y'all of, familiar a lot of the, the exterior uh, designs, they still are y'all still familiar with the uh, the Aston Martin Vulcan? The Aston Martin Vulcan, yes, yes. of course. Dog, so they made a street version. I seen the video of somebody driving a street version of it. Yeah, it's a one off. It's it's Nuts. the only street legal version in the world. It's a one off. Nuts. 
Yeah. We, 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 where is that car at? Where is that car? Uh, I, I don't even remember. I was watching the video. It was like a. It was in it was, car. It was uh, England, wasn't it? Yeah, I think it is. That, that, I want to say it was England. Insane, bro. When they let it, when they let it run hard a little bit, was was was, was when they let it run or no? Bro, they was getting on it, bro. They was driving. <laughs> bro, it's a, it's a seven liter V twelve in that motherfucker, bro. Yeah, the, yeah. Well, the, that V twelve is hot. The only thing that they did. Nagone, they they put um, mirrors on it, you know, for, okay. for um, left left to right mirrors. Right, they right, added right. front headlights, front tail lights, and they added rear turn signal lights. That's it. Everything else, nothing has changed. That's what makes the car street legal, which to me is insane because I don't see how it's going to pass. Um, it was got to pass. It's got to pass uh, uh, emissions inspections, right? Right. No, it does. Right. Well, no, does, it doesn't have to pass a. It's not right, it's have to pass a missing yeah, expressions so. because it, it will pass that. It's it's, it's the. Uh, it, it, yeah, it will get a it get a special vintage. Um, not a vintage, a uh, special vin for it. Special usage because it's a one off. It's, it's it's the only one in the world. Oh, that sound of that, that car thing, must that run hard. Really that bad boy must run hard. Dog. <laughs> Renaissance. Sexy. Yeah, Renaissance. Sexy, dog. Renaissance that man. Renaissance yeah. man in the chat says, um, he asked a question, will will we ever get another black car company? I think this is probably the most optimal time. You know, um, I talked about this with Ty City before that uh that was Jay-Z's opportunity to jump in there and grab Fisker. All the research and development was already done, production. They just had bad business. Hey. All they had to do was Magic Johnson, Jay Z, all these guys sit at the table and say, "How how are we gonna get get this done?" Oh, seven hundred million though. I mean, damn, buddy by himself bought the Weather Channel for three fifty. <laughs> you know what I'm yeah. saying? Well, well, you know he yeah. is married. He is married to a non BW, yeah. so <laughs> maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't even gonna say that. Maybe that's, maybe that's how they get, Damn, they get Mike, the money. Oh, Mike, you the problem. Oh, Mike, you the worst. Damn. Oh, oh but, but, hey, but, but while you playing, him and Beyonce could have got it. Yeah, they could have did that. Yeah, they, I mean, that's a big risk for them. They would probably wouldn't do it by themselves. They would probably do that with other other uh, considerable partners. But see, that's the problem with black people. They don't really have a collective mindset like the like the uh you know the old boys in uh israel do man they all think um one accord man i mean look, look what happened with that other company um who 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 had the battery company that they used the battery company as leverage to just take out somebody's competition tesla has something like that somebody ran a monopoly on the batteries hmm Tesla, they just bought a company called Maxwell Technologies. I, it, it was somebody who was competing with them, and they, they supplied the battery. They bought the battery company and cut the battery supply off to their competition, and, the, and they couldn't, they, the other company folded. Oh, well, the Mustangs interior has got to be better than this, man. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> This is that's the, Spartan, oh, that's that broken. Spartan, and it's still no. better than the Mustang. The Lotus. It's the oh. Lotus. The all-electric Lotus that makes makes like 2,000 horsepower. Most powerful street car ever made. The only problem with this vehicle is that it's like 4,000 pounds, too. It's a heavy I, car. He, right, but oh, true, okay, true, but, but. Yo, look One, at that dashboard. That is nasty. Two thousand horsepower makes up for a whole hell of a lot of weight. That oh yeah, horse, weight ratio horsepower. Is. But I don't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't say that it's a pure track monster because it's four four thousand pounds. But two thousand horsepower makes up a whole lot. That a whole shit. Lot. <laughs> two thousand. That is crazy. Two thousand horsepower. You put wings on that car. That's something. That's it. That I 2,000 pounds. 2,000 horsepower. 2,000 horsepower. That's a lot. It's still, it's still 50 miles to the charge. Yeah, that's very that's short range. 
Very well, that's point. that's relative yeah. relative to the market, though. I mean, the, the Teslas are, are getting uh, two hundred and fifty to three hundred on average. You know, the the best Tesla is doing three seventy three. That's, that's not really bad considering that this is not this is just a race car, right? Race. And this is the, right, and this is a toy. This will never be a daily driver. So you know what? As a toy, it's perfect. Yeah. Look at the lines in this bad boy. That bad boy looks crazy. Yo, the, the tail lights going around that that port. Yeah. That's crazy. That, that, that shit's crazy. And also, you know, that, you know, that's there, crazy. there is a relationship. There was a relationship between General Motors and Lotus. The most most people don't even know outside of the industry. Lotus has been doing suspension work for GM since the early 80s. Lotus has been doing a lot of suspension work for a lot of car companies around the world since the early 80s. And people don't even know it outside of the industry. They don't ask for credit. They don't seek the credit. But a lot of uh, U.S., a lot of British, and a lot of Japanese cars have Lotus yeah. tuned suspension. <laughs> yeah. in the- Lotus was said deep it. into the MR2 project. Yeah, Ty City also said that they uh they tuned the um the GTR. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> See, yeah. nah, that motherfucker right there, that that's nasty right there. Woo! That's what I've been holding out for, man. Is a um. <laughs> yeah, this is crazy. It's, it's, a, it's, a coupe. It's, a, it's an electric coupe, man. I really don't want. A four door car, man. I just, I, I'm just not really interested in that. I really want a coupe. This is sick. This, this car is sick. This shit is sick. This shit is sick. Man, what's the ticket man. on this one? What's the ticket on this one? How much is this two? one? It's two, two? Million. two million. Two million. Two million. Two million. Yeah. This shit is crazy looking. They're already sold out. They're already sold out. This shit yeah, already sold crazy. out. Hey, uh, Mike, is 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 this car a race what car is or is it street legal? It's supposed to be a street legal race car. Wow. It's got tail lights. It has all the DOT uh, markings on it. Okay. What are mirrors in it, though? Uh, it doesn't use mirrors. It uses cameras. Wow. Oh, shit. See, I'm behind. I'm behind. Yeah. Uses cameras. Two, two select for me. I can't fuck with that. I stay in my lane. <laughs> You're not job yeah. under. Oh. No, I <laughs> <laughs> oh, two, two million dollars. <laughs> you gotta be, bro, you gotta be John Line for that. That's that's your John Line. I'm saying that's that's crazy. Bro, you, you, might, you, might, you might, you might, you might be, you might be too incel for it. You might have to crack, crack someone's jaw line for it. <laughs> 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 Yo, that yo, two 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 million. Come on, dog. Mm-hmm. Mike, I'm telling you, man. Open up that super chat, man. Shit, you gonna need a lot more super chat, man. You have to put some, you put some, put some people on the track for that. Let's <laughs> <laughs> get that super chat ready, yeah. Mike. Mike. Nah. No, 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 no. You no, gotta no, do the, no. you gotta do the Patreon in, in sections. Like you gotta have the 500 members, the 200 members. <laughs> you gotta have Mike. a you gotta have a YouTube join button. Nah, 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 Mike, Mike, Mike. What's up? Two bro? million. You have to have an OnlyFans page. <laughs> wow. Oh, that, yeah, that's right. That's hey, right. I, I, I wasn't even gonna go there. Hey, I wasn't no even coming. gonna go there. <laughs> no coming, Mike. I mean, shit. What you no go? Coming. Hey, 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 Mike. If we get on this bump in a couple more months, and you'd have pre-ordered that goddamn car. <laughs> 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 if you if you want to if you want to get into <laughs> IT and want some mentorship, man, you got to fucking super chat me. <laughs> Mike, 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 po- 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 Mike, post your premium Snapchat in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> yo, hey, hey, Mike, get on and just be like, yo, you know what's crazy? I just got this two million dollar car, man. <laughs> yo, no, but you're not really happy about it. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, <laughs> rap stance. Mike, <laughs> <and> exhaust <laughs> on an electric Mike. car. <laughs> are 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 you aware? On an electric car. Are you aware, Mike, that this weekend Lewis Hamilton will win his sixth Formula One World Drivers Championship? Think so. 
he is only four points away from clinching. Oh yeah, yeah, he's definitely going to take that. So yeah, he's he gonna take win. it. Yeah, he's gonna take it. Okay, so he Lewis was only the second driver to ever win it six times. Uh, because um, you talking about uh, Schumacher was the first, right? Schumacher is the only one who has yeah. seven titles. That's Lewis seven Hamilton times, yeah. is about to win his sixth, mm-hmm. and he's only, he's what thirty two now. Paul, they seen this. They seen him a long time ago. What do you mean? Like he just he he just consistent, dude. Of course he's consistent, dude. You he has five world titles. You have to be consistent. He is the youngest form Formula One world champion in history. He was one race away from being the first rookie to ever win the form Formula One world drivers title. Okay, so for all the haters who talked about Juan Pablo Montoya, who talked about Sebastian Vettel, talked about Jensen Button, and now now they talk about um, this kid, this this D D bag, um, Max Verstappen, who has done absolutely nothing. Where right. is he? He has he's out of contention. He has one win the entire season, and he's done nothing. He is an overly aggressive driver who makes dangerous mistakes, and he will be out of four, out of Formula One in two to three more years, the same way Juan Pablo Montoya was. If, 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 if he doesn't, if he doesn't rack up a couple of victories, he better yeah. rack, he, better, he better rack up a couple of vicks. Because if he doesn't, yeah. he's out. Yeah, that's what will save your ass if you win. Wins. Right. True. Facts. And the you're hundred percent right. But yep. while. While these people hate on Lewis Hamilton and want to compare him and say that he's the better driver and that Lewis has the best car because Mercedes is has just won their sixth straight constructors title. Number one, the cars don't drive themselves. And number two, Verstappen doesn't even have one world title, much less Hamilton's five about to be six. So you know what? They can't tell 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 me a goddamn thing. Facts. They just doing the damn thing, man. Just it ain't no slowing up for him, bro. Oh, well, you know, he is vegan. <laughs> <laughs> and he lives the life of a rock star. Yo, yeah. that bachelor shit. I, I know they hate that shit. Yeah, they, they, there's a lot of uh, nasty things said on forums about him, man. I, that yeah, I there see. is very nasty things said. That's about all him. good. He's still fucking all that bitch, man. He gets yeah, he is. That's what they hate, and he and the, and the boy is paid in full. And he can run around and drop his ball on anybody's head. They don't give a damn. And he wins <laughs> on the track. And yeah. he's black. And, and he's black. And, and he's black. The first. And, and, and he's black. That's the first. <laughs> and the that's only. a sprinkle. That's a sprinkle on top. <laughs> the first <laughs> and the like only. It is what it is, man. And he's unstoppable. Rihanna I, openly it, said. Rihanna openly said she smashed him. So did did she? Yeah, she openly said she smashed him. <laughs> Yo, the way he did Minaj was crazy. He smashed. He smashed her too. That man, that bitch wanted everybody to know about it. Yeah, yeah, they're pretty. They're pretty open about dealing with him. Um, the girl from RT smashed him too. Um, Sophie Shevinazzi. Did she? Wow. Hey, this nigga said. Yeah, I mean, he can. I mean, Cuban link chain. He he young dude. Big fucking diamonds in his. (laughs) Dude, he lived the life of a race car driver taking risks. Yeah. Taking, taking risks, risks yeah. taking mad risks out there. Listening you know he's gonna be man. out here smashing out some hoes. Listening to his old man. Oh, no, listen yeah. to his father. Listen, listen, listen to him close because that's why he's winning. He stays close to his dad. Exactly, but he's, bro. Mad, but he's smashing them hoes because you know it is what it is. He's a young cat. It, that's <laughs> what he's he gonna do. He's swimming up, in women. He he's swimming smashing hoes. He's smashing hoes out like he should. Every every color, every type, just. And the bitch is bragging about it. He ain't saying shit. He not trying to be seen with these hoes or nothing. These bitches just run their mouth about it. Wait, wait. <laughs> <Time out. laughs> so, so, so does does that mean that he is a select jawline dude? No. Is that what that mean? No. It no. means that he, he is a product of his production. Mm-hmm. That's what it means. <laughs> yeah. 
He's so focused, bro. I don't even think that it's like he's never going to get distracted by the hoes. It's like, all right, I'm done with you, bitch. Let me hey, but you see what he does with him. He smashes him, crashes him, and keeps it moving. That's he what he does. He keeps it moving. He keeps That's it moving. That's what he does. You see, you see the <laughs> he game he's playing. Focus on his goals. He you see the good. game he's playing, man. As you well, see the game he's playing. What? Yo, you what? know what? That's the what perfect example, you, bro. bro. Bro, what do I always tell you? It is your mindset. And his mindset is he is focused, racing first, everything else second. Mindset. Yep, and and and, and he's on the titles. That's what he's on. You know, the girls are just okay. entertainment. He smashes, he crashes, <laughs> and he keeps it moving. That's what he's doing, man. He he he. he you only, know, that's what he's doing. So, you know, he, and he lets them talk. He, he lets he lets them talk. He ain't doing the talk. He lets them talk. Yo, you know how much champagne he done sprayed on these hoes. <laughs> Yo, Dude, you know, you know what else he done sprayed on these hoes as well. <laughs> right. <laughs> no, bigger than that. <laughs> bigger than Yo. that. <laughs> Yo, you bigger know what that. else he's spraying he on these hoes. He only has one thing less. He only has one thing left to prove. He literally only has one thing left to prove. Michael Schumacher has seven world titles. He is the greatest of all time. When Lewis Hamilton, he's gonna need eight. For him to be called the greatest of all time, he can't tie Schumacher. He has to get well. Well, we'll put it like this: one more. The numbers, numbers do matter. If he comes in because he was younger than Schumacher when he when he first came out and started winning. So, so true. If he's if he if he if he gets seven, you can sit down and say that he's at least equal to him, if not better. Nah, that's still a question. Right. Well, 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 in order for him to be better, he's got to have eight. In order for him to be, you let you let complex design tell it. You let complex design tell it he the best of all time. <laughs> uh, yeah, only, complex only, is my listen, dog. That's listen, my dog. Uh, I won't disagree with what Ulysses says. I won't. Oh, my only point is, for any argument from anyone else, he has to have eight. He has to. Because even if he equals Michael Schumacher, there will always be this discussion. Who was the greatest of all time? Who was the better? But now look, look at this. As Nagon said, the numbers matter. There are several numbers that people thought would never be broken. Do you realize he has broken Michael Schumacher's record for all-time podiums? He's broken Michael Schumacher's record for all-time wins? He's broken Michael Schumacher's record for all-time fastest lap set? He's broken Michael Schumacher's record for all-time pole position set. The only thing he hasn't broken is Michael Schumacher's record for world driver's titles, which is seven. He's about to get his sixth this weekend. If he well, like I said, eight, boom, there's no discussion. They saw this kid when he was 14 years old, moving him into moving him into Formula One training and all that. They said, this guy's, this guy's going to be one of the greatest out there. They saw that. It said that a long time ago. He has lived up to everything that they thought. So yeah. you know, we, you know, you know, will he surpass Schumacher at, uh, at his right. age? At his age, I just think it's just a matter of time. Just yeah. as long as he doesn't get caught up, you know, knocking some chick up or anything else like that, getting caught up in something crazy. Wow, hell no, nah, bro. We talking but, but, laser focus, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's too small. I'm, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Just giving something crazy like Tiger Woods out there, you know, you know, <laughs> doing his shit. <laughs> nah, but hey, I, I, I'm saying, as long as he doesn't pull anything like that, of which I don't believe he's going to do, because his father's right. still around, is still around him. So but, I don't see that happening. He's um, he's not married, nothing like that. So he's focused right. on this game, and 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 I, I believe I believe he will beat it. But in my view, in order for him to really say that he's the greatest, he's gonna have to have he's gonna have to get maybe nine because mm-hmm. because, because if he if he crushes that record, then there'll be no questions about about what's going on. We're talking about it. We're talking about a nigga that take the top podium and fly to the club. Catch he the fly. No, 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 no. He in the club with a bottle of bub. There's no doubt about that. But, he but, lives but, the but life at the end of, of the day, they, they hate that shit. It's so but, easy, bro. But at the end of the day, when he on that track Saturday, Sunday, he a bad boy. All right. He a bad, he a bad boy. That, 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 that's the bottom line. He a bad boy. And I'm sorry. I've been on the track. I run around a little bit. And the kind of game that they're in, that is the closest thing to fucking combat that you can think about. That shit is ill. Yeah. And these guys are running at the at the top. I remember, you know, um, I used to go out to Brazil, Aaron and Santa, all these guys were, were hanging out. They were the men. He died on the track. I mean, like, you know, <laughs> your, your ass is on the line out there. So, you know, um, these guys are flying by the seat of their pants. This is not a joke. Um, and the big money, big 
huge cash with these teams. This is this is a big business, and your ass is on the line. So he partying. Yeah, he definitely he definitely blowing off some steam. Oh, he acting a damn fool. But I'm saying he, 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 they don't like that shit. <laughs> they don't oh don't no, like they don't shit. like him. And and, and the way he look, he your brother. He a dog dude, man. They ain't like that. <laughs> he's smashing out all. And and he's well spoken. He's well spoken too. That very well. Well spoken with, with the Cuban very, very well spoken. And well spoken. Yeah, now, you know, yeah, and he's out there yeah. just smashing, smashing them out. Dudes are tight. <laughs> they're, yeah. they're tight. He got mad haters, and they can't beat that. him. That's that's I the forgot, problem. I, yeah, I forgot he's a um, a, a racer for uh, Ducati as well. Is yep. he really? Yeah. 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 No, no, no. This dude is highly butterlaid, bro. Really? I mean, this guy is no joke. He uh, races um, for but, Ducati but, as well. Yep. I think he raced for Ducati at one point as well. I have never heard that before. Wow, I definitely got to research that. He 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 a bad he a bad boy, man. But um, you know, let's see, because I think he's really gonna have to get nine to really say that I am the undisputed, unmitigated, you know, greatest of all time. There's no questions about it, because you know them, uh, you, you you know them Germans. Don't even want to say it. What he won't he won't be, and the way I see him doing it is just. Smashing the shit and just going about his, it's just it, it's just going man say man we talking laser right. focus bro right true man, I predict ten or eleven I predict ten or eleven yeah he's very young wow. enough to do it he's young enough to do it uh, yeah. no I'm sorry uh, Paul Bryant it, it was actually MV Agusta he uh, okay. he has a, he has a line with them ah okay but now but now but now has but now does is this a marketing partnership or has he actually raced? I think he. I think he um, helped pr- uh, produce the bike. So, okay. Yeah, I think he helped produce the bike. Um, he has a lot of um, Kaepernick going for him as well, man. Um, but that seems to be the case with a lot of these cats, man. You know, very high performing, um, and people hate on him a lot, man. You know, uh, you know, Cap got a lot of hate, man. He gets a lot of hate. Ball gets a lot of hate. But, 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 but. But he, but he, but see, they understand that hate it sells, it it puts asses in seats. People want to see this dude. You know, the hate generates a lot. It, it, there's a lot of money buzzing around this dude. It's, it's, I mean, hundreds of millions of dollars around this guy. So, I mean, this is, it, it's, this is, it's, he's money. But that, he's that's, that's the, the thing. He's money. And he, but he's the best. And, you can't and, say and anything racing about game, him. He produces. He's pure, he he's is pure the world he, champion. Dude, he's but he's liquid, he liquid cash. He that liquid fire money. So everybody's on this dude. Everybody's yeah, on him. And if, if he busts those titles out, so he's even going to get bigger. That's that's the thing. It's got to be bro, a billion dollar. Imagine athlete. his dad sacrificing how he sacrificed, bro, and just see that shit come into fruition. That's 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 got to be just as big With of a dad feeling. Bro. That's just got to be dad, just so that, big. His, like, remember, his his dad's a Nigerian dude. You know what I'm saying? He's a Nigerian cat. His no, mother's Irish, right? No, he's West Indian. Yeah, yeah, bro. yeah, yeah. His father's Irish. No, I thought, I thought his dad was, I thought his dad was Nigerian. No, his dad's no, Nigerian, fam. no. His father is West Indian. His father, his father was either born in Trin, either I think in Trini, or he was born in London. But his, but his parents are Trini. His father is West Indian. His mom is uh, British, but his father is West Indian. Oh. As far as I was saying, I thought his father was. I thought his dad was Nigerian. I swore that nah. his dad was Nigerian. Nah, I'm I'm ninety nine percent sure it's West Indian. But either way, either way, we're just we're just. You, you may be right. I thought it was Nigerian. Either way, okay, he yeah, was focused, and you can't. No one can say a thing about him because he is the defending Formula One World Champion. He's about to win his sixth. Yeah. And he's in the prime of his yep. career. Sebastian Vettel is done. He's not the same driver anymore. And all this talk about all these contenders, none of them do a damn thing. Lewis Hamilton is the top of his game. He is the best Formula One driver on the grid. And and I love how he races because he just hunts. He just hunts you down. He yeah. makes you make mistakes. He just hunts you down. The dude is ice. He's ice out there. He, he just hunts man. you down. Like, oh, he's off the court. Oh, he made my right pass. I mean, it's just yeah. he just hunts you down. He don't make any mistakes. Those yeah. dudes don't make mistakes out there. And he's aggressive, but he doesn't make mistakes. He's That's hard to run on that edge. 
Huh? He's an ice man. You know, he's, he's ice. ice, ice he's straight up ice out there. He just he lets you mess up, and he's he, and he and when he's behind you and you hear him, it's like, oh, this dude is on me. And then next thing you know, he's driving them. He's yeah. driving the leaders till they make mistakes. That's what he does. Yeah, he drives them. <laughs> This guy, this guy's a bitch. He's a bitch out there. The one, the one thing that I loved about Michael Schumacher, because Michael Schumacher was my favorite driver of all time. Michael Schumacher was very aggressive. Sometimes he, he, he would make overly aggressive moves and he wore you down and then he ran away from you. Lewis Hamilton is not yeah. overly aggressive. Like you said, he's consistent. He's an ice man. He never consistent. makes a mistake. He's, he's, he wears he's, you down. And when you make he, when you he, make he, a mistake, he pounces on you. He <laughs> pounces, but he pushes you. He drives you. He yes, drives yes. you to make mistakes. He right. drives you. If you <laughs> see him, like he'll move his car, look like he'll dip to the inside. You got to dip. Then you got to move to the outside. You can't get maybe you know you know you're, you're trying to figure out what he's doing. The next you know you're making a mistake, and he goes right by you. Right by you. <laughs> like, and then he's gone. Dude got by him. He, he, and he's gone. And then next thing you know, man, you 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 just you just suck it on his tailpipe, and that's the end of it. And um, and that's how he runs you. He, the guy just drives you. He drive. He's the ice man. He, he's he's cold. He's he's a cold dude out there. So, um, you know, yeah, he he's something else. He's something else. Yeah. He's something he's else. Something. I I understand why these folks hating on him. I I can't say I don't understand it. I he on the head, bro. And you know what? You know what? The the funny thing is because <clears throat> I know Nagon, you you've been watching for you you've been watching Formula One longer than I have. I grew up watching. I grew up with uh, obviously Ayrton Senna because I was in my late yeah, yeah, that, that, that was my man, late you know, he, he, that was my man. 80s. Lewis Hamilton said Senna was his favorite driver of all time, not yeah, yeah. Schumacher. And if you if you remember Ayrton Senna's style, Lewis Hamilton has the same style. He was an ice but, man, but, he wore you down, he wore you down until you made a mistake and then got you. But Ayrton was also aggressive. He was aggressive on him he corners. Was. He, was, he was aggressive. He, was. he took what he got was. him over was he took risks in areas that other guys were afraid not to, and that's how he got by a lot of people because he Very had an, he had an inordinate amount of skill, which ultimately in the end cost him his life. But mm. um, but 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 that's that's how you that's how you got to do this game, man. You got to drive at the Racing. edge, and it's just like I said, this shit is like combat out there. So it's, it's like it's war out there. You can uh, die quite easily out there. So yeah. um, it's, it's, it's war. It's war. And you're dealing at high speeds. You're coming down these straights, 230, 40 miles an hour. I mean, you're doing a lot of ill shit. Then you come around <laughs> these tight corners. It's, 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 it's ill. It's, it's, it's an ill game. It's, a, it's an ill game. And this shit is not – most guys cannot do this. They can sit there and say they can. You know, n- no, 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 you can't. No, no, you can't. No, 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 you can't. no, you can't do this. Fuck that. You can't. Nah, he the man, bro. <laughs> yeah. He the man around this bitch, bro. Can't do it. Nah, man. Nope, 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 nope. You got to be highly butterlaid to play out here. So um, that's why he's the best. So few guys, few few guys like him. You love to see. So I'm pulling well, for him. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm with you on that. I'm with you on that. I'm with you on that, minister. I believe it's better hey, this hey. weekend. I, I agree with you. Hey, so 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 in conclusion, we we know that. The Mustang is overpriced. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Way the fuck the overpriced. The least. Under, understate. <laughs> the C8 has shaken the whole sports car market. And maybe, maybe, maybe. It's, it's impressive. Maybe. I'm still We'll see. It's, it's, it's a see time it. factor on the CC. I just think I'm not saying it's not, but it's wait and see. I agree. Agreed. I don't know, man. I I don't like listening to journalists and what they say and, and when they do their little uh, test drives or whatnot because they be at testing facilities with the manufacturer's people. I don't think a lot of them will actually trash the shit. You know what I'm saying? And publish it exactly. because they know they won't, nope. they won't get invited to the next one and all this. It, it's, it, well, it's a look, game they play. It's, GM it's, hasn't. It's all about any, money. Right. GM hasn't given out any any long term test cars yet. Once GM starts to give out long term test cars to the various automotive outlets, then we'll see what this car really is. Until that day, and I'll say it before, and I'll say it again, 
I want to see this thing on the Nürburgring running hard. I want to see this thing at Spa. Yeah, I hard. agree. I want to see this Agreed. thing Agreed. at um, Agreed. Um, Sil- Silverstone running hard. I want to see this I thing think- at Agreed. Uh, Agreed. And Fuji running hard, at Imola running hard. I want to see this thing taking the parabolica at 180 miles an hour. I want to see this thing taking o- 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 Rouge at 190 miles an hour. But then, did the C7 do that, though, Paul? But GM but GM never designed that car to do those things. They're talking the C8 can do this, can do these things. They're saying the C8 can compete with the Germans and the Japanese at their tracks on their level. So if that be the case, let me see them. That's what they're saying this car can come and do. Tracks. I That's think the do. six going to get all that treatment. I don't think they're going to do that with the base model. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Like uh, the base model, I wouldn't expect that. But for the ZR1 that they're talking, um, not the CR1, the CAR um, that they're talking about coming out with. Yeah, yeah I can see. I can see where you would put your uh, your trips behind on, on that, man. No, so, um, GM. Yeah, but but bro, GM has said the C8 will run with anything from Germany and Japan on their tracks. So whether it's the base model or not, these are GM's claims, not mine. So GM said it. You know what? Put your money where your mouth is. All right. That's a nice way to end this, man. Um, thank you all for joining us. Please hit the like button if you've not already done so. Uh, share the video if possible. And hit that notification <laughs> bell so you get all the updates from the Black Brain Trust, including those posted on the community tab. And to everyone else, shalom. Good night, gentlemen. Hey.